Absolutely. Yeah. They do. I try. I'm just like, God damn it, I sound like an intelligent person in my own mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what someone, I remember being on, uh, being on set when I was just getting out of college in New York. And there was another girl from Boston. Like, why are you trying? To, why are you talking like you, you're from Texas? I think she was Hispanic. I forget. But I was like, well, I'm trying to mask as much as I can my Boston accent. <laughs> no and, dice. And always, yeah. It never it, works. No, it, because here's the thing that always gets me. When I mentioned my aunt Martha. I can't. <laughs> hey, my aunt Martha. And I try like I'll try like focus. Aunt Martha. Yes. No. Aunt Martha's happening. a real dyke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Martha. Yeah. I do her. Yeah. But uh, so what? All right. No. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking in his eyes. Yeah. John's giving me couplehood. No. Well, hello. Welcome back to the the podcast. Yes, we are. Uh, yeah. Number eleven. <laughs> We're going to keep numbering them because no, I feel I, like each one's an accomplishment. It's like, we're still... I don't still... know why I'm trying to engage your eyes and like, yeah, like people can see us. Like try to like, have a, not a stare up, but just like notice our connection. Like, hey, everybody. And I just slink. This is well, real your... magic in the room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's your next step because you know a lot of the podcasts now, they have the video feed. Yeah. Just of certain moments where they're yeah. embarrassing themselves. And <laughs> well, watch along to it. Was it uh, one of the ones uh, I plugged my buddy... For our same night movie review, they have a video podcast, which is on Tuesday. Actually, I think it's on tonight while we're recording. Actually, right at this moment. So, Holy shit, people, was... it's too late for me to plug it, I guess. <laughs> but uh, they have their episodes up. But I'm going to, John, go do what you got to do. Read to us. Yeah, I'd like to. Uh... I'm going to, hold on. Let's see if you can listen to. Oh, yeah, the banana. Hold so on. He's going to get ready for his banana. And uh, I'm going to read from. Shh, shh, shh. Hold on, ready. Yeah, you can hear the peel. Peeling back foreskin. Yeah. And then you're going to make room for daddy, which is the name <laughs> of this chapter, actually. Oh, oh my. <laughs> this is uh, a chapter uh, from Paul Reiser's, I don't know if it's his second book. It's probably his second book. It's called Babyhood. Not to be confused with couplehood. Oh, all right. Uh, <clears throat> I was never crazy about people who talk about themselves in the third person. To me, it's an affection reserved for superstar athletes. Dennis Rodman's not happy with how Dennis Rodman played tonight. Or dim-witted nutcases in bad movies. Johnny No liked to strangle puppies, John, but Johnny confused. What? You're losing you really, me, Paul. I hate it. It's it's as terrible as read it. It isn't a bad, like, that bit isn't horrible, but it's just kind of like you're truly, like, not into it. It really doesn't tell Yeah, like, it the all. delivery doesn't, like, his delivery, his intentions with his delivery make no sense. Well, it's, it's where kinda, you have to read it, and you have to, like... like a Jerry Seinfeld sort of delivery. It's well, like, they're all from the same school, though. Yeah. Like, he, I mean, they were, they were coming up at the same time. I think Paul should stick to manipulating uh, derelict space heroines. For- <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll come back to this, Paul. Right, I'm done with Paul. Right now. Why don't you read? Why don't you show me what was incredibly it interesting? Comes back to oh. Paul Reiser. Yeah. <laughs> well, now that is, is there a fear that it's not going to be a campaign or part of the spark of this podcast? Because Scott, well, Scott Waldy is our hello, our, our guest, dungeon um, manager, uh, dungeon master extraordinaire, writer, musician, and mathematician. Yep. I just want to throw that in there. <laughs> Who isn't really? And oxen. And oxen, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but what was it? He he brought up a great thing off air. We were ta- he was talking about because you're a lover of podcasts as well. I am a long time lover of podcasts. But uh, he was mentioning how like there's uh, that secret under unspoken like rule in podcasting. You get the twenty, that means you're good to go. You're pretty much. You I, I wasn't familiar home. with that rule actually. It, it could be. You know, I may have the number. It wrong. sounds it familiar. T- it might be yeah. ten actually. It might not be 20. It's not like the first 10 yeah. seems weird. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys have it because it's yeah. your 8.5 and everything, and you're there already. Yeah, well, yeah, this is 11, technically, 11 and a half. Or yeah, 11, 11 and a half. With the 0. 0.5 yeah. we did at Boston Comic Con. But I'm sorry. Do you want me to read that? I do, but what I'm All getting right. at is, <laughs> will this be the spark to get us, if it is 20, past that 20 mark? Will this be an impetus for us to... I'll do an all-Paul Reiser podcast. I mean, we can switch... We can change It'll be like 10 straight. minutes. <laughs> just... But like the whole podcast is just reading from each of his books. It's just like basically like a book on tape for however long. But then like... That would be probably a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but, I well, should say that in my best Robin yeah. Robot voice. <laughs> yeah. That was a mistake. Yeah. But why... I mean, if we, if we build each episode and don't necessarily dedicate one to Paul Reiser and we just build off... Like little segments, like we're kind of doing now, does a spark to like you create like a, a puzzle that forms into one big Paul Reiser joke, like a Paul Reiser Rubik's cube. Yeah, exactly. Of <laughs> yeah. just our like meddling and talking about him, it just gets to a point where he gives us a call telling us to shut up. Or that would be great. It'd be like, hey, fuck you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you could have him call in and try and get some you know, yeah. redemption, but 
I think he's probably already tried to do that on anybody else who's sad enough to let him on their podcast. No, I mean, well, I mean, it's a thing. No. Who knows? No. I, I'm not opposed. I'm not, hey, I'm not a down on Paul, as everyone no. else. Or maybe I am. But no. I would, I do think redemption is the key word. If he calls in or does anything crazy, like he comes in wearing a bikini, I'm in. I'm sold. It's Paul, uh, Paul Reiser. <laughs> he just lets everyone bukkake him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a podcast. Eat the cracker, yeah. Paul. Eat it. <laughs> that's ookie cookie. I'm sorry. Oh, it's word. I'm mixing ever, up my. Do you think he ever boned Helen Hunt? That's a good question. Oh no, it wasn't he married. Would have. She was pretty hot. He she was so what? Tits. That doesn't oh. mean anything. Yeah, wow. That is, <laughs> that is the Hollywood way. That is true. Helen Hunt does have really nice boobs. You ever seen them? Uh, maybe. I think Helen Hunt. I'll look them up. Nice All right. Well, let, I'm sorry. I don't want to take you. I think. This is important. All right. It's kind of tough something. to read because her handwriting is shitty. I remember I had a tough time reading it. So if, if Should sounds, I read it? Is that if what you, you want, if, you, if your cursive is better than mine. Well, speaking oh. of cursive, I actually today was just learning how to... You're just getting... Oh, my God. Look at that. Isn't that weird? That is a mess. Yeah. Isn't that fucking shitty? It's you, all hell. You just forget how to do it. It's really hard. If no, you're... it's tough. Like, I remember it, but I just don't do it. Uh. It's just because I'm writing a letter to my buddy who writes in cursive, and I can I can read it. But is he a fucking 18th century fucking novelist? I don't know. He's a novelier. <laughs> but <laughs> tell him to write. And, tell yeah. him to type you an email. Well, he yeah, time for he this doesn't like. It's all about presentation. He's in South Korea. Uh. It's Brian from. Uh, I wanted to have him on at one point, but okay. <clears throat> Brian, which Brian? Not the Brian I know. Oh no no. Which Brian do you know? Why Brian? hasn't he been on yet? Brian Collins. Collins. That's a good he's question. In, we haven't in, really yeah. had. I think he might be coming back at one point, but we should have him on at one. No, we can talk back, about huh? him. I'm calling him Derogatory. out. Derogatorily. Right yeah. I'm calling you out. Call, so he oh, doesn't wow, listen. Fire. We know Zuber he doesn't Fife, listen. Yes. We'll get more into <laughs> Dura Fife and other connections to Mr. Wally uh, yeah, in a little bit. But this is uh, from Paul Rogers' Babyhood, and you purchased this where? No, Lena got that for me. Oh, okay. um, our friend Lena got. Um, she just. I came to my house like last week and was just like, hey, you know your Paul Rogers collection? Here's another book for it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> sweet. She's like, yeah, it's a dollar. They had this third one, but it was ten dollars. And I'm um, sorry, but you're on your own. Mm -hmm. like, oh, this is something I'll never get to experience. I That's guess. paperboy money. Yeah, well, that comes from. But the uh, the be babyhood actually has like someone bought this for their husband. Some woman bought this for her husband and like wrote a passage to him. Like she wrote like like some sort of affectionate letter. Like you you give someone a Paul Reiser book with love. With <laughs> love, it's like. She had nothing but the best intentions, and I guarantee that relationship ended in a divorce. Yeah. yeah. All right. So <laughs> with that in mind, here's the passage. Here's what she wrote. It's a whole page, by the way. It cut and takes up the whole intro yeah, or the whole first that. white it's page. Tough to read. X Men's 1997. Michael, this year has brought us such a wonderful present. Our son. It has been the most magical year for me, and I now know you as not just my loving husband, best pal, and true companion, but as the world's best dad! Exclamation! Because <laughs> I have to exclaim it. Oh, there's Helen Hunt for us. Oh, yeah, I have seen those. <clears throat> They're lovely. They're very Moving shapely. Moving along. They're quite nice. Moving along. <clears throat> I was not born with a gift of humor, and you were, so I give you this book instead. Oh, bad decision. <laughs> you made our first pregnancy such a time of happiness. You made me laugh when I was scared of you, or when I was scared, and you understood when I... I cried. I thought it said crud. Yeah, it's it's tough. Most importantly, you gave me the strength and support to get uh, a birth, to give birth to our child. For that, I always love you. I hope you enjoy this book and help me to laugh through the next stage of our lives. Parenthood. All my love, Cheryl. Cheryl wound up dead in a ravine <laughs> <laughs> a week Mer later after her husband read the book. The Paul Reiser killer is still at large. <laughs> Anyone who has purchased this book, please report to your local police Basically, department. Yeah, yeah, the taste police. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught up with her. Did you see the back of the book? How it like, hit her with a tire iron? <laughs> Sure, uh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> early, was it early to bed, early to riser? Is that the yeah. name of, that would be the <laughs> the news cast? Oh, what is, look at this, play. it's like it almost forms like a shitty comic book pullout cover or yeah. something. It's like, <laughs> oh if God. Alex Ross or action. anyone, I would, I put the, I put a challenge to JB, uh, from JB Inks, which he apparently didn't listen to the whole podcast because we get complaints that were too long anyways, but... From who? <laughs> That's right. He's People Scott's who have so lives, not a us. supporter. Um, but yeah, once again, I'd like to thank Scott. Scott, uh, listen to the po uh, podcast and his... Int uh, what is the name of your band, by the way? Oh, the there? project I'm currently working on is called Entropium. Entropium. And that, uh, that'll be the intro and outro. And I thank you for out front being like, oh, use this for the intro and outro. That's not a problem. It saves me time yeah. and effort. Um, but yeah, you no. Know how these things work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, what the JB was um, 
we we put a challenge to him to do a Paul Reiser uh, remix of some sort with like Mad About oh, You stuff okay, and put stuff together. So and we'll see what he can do. Well, well, go ahead, Scott. You have. I was just gonna say I didn't realize that JB was a rapper. Oh really? Is he actually a rapper? Yes. Or is he just? Is it like a pretend? He does. No, he does bits, and he does. He does He's have an actual like love. Years. He doesn't have it's, an actual love for uh, it. Um, is, he there, nerd, is he a nerdcore rapper though? Uh, there are degrees of it, yes. That's but all that matters. I though. would, yeah, uh, MC Frontslot type. I love of, MC yeah. Frontslot, yeah. And uh, actually, there was a good doc on him on uh, Netflix. Nerdcore Rising. Nerdcore Rising, yeah. Nerdcore Rising, yeah. 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 Which had a weird, like Weird Al was in it. I forget who else was in it. Like um, some. Some more legit, and I say legit in the face of um, people in the rap community might be like, oh, he's got cred. Um, I forget which. Was it Prince Paul from? Prince Paul, maybe, yeah. Maybe from De La Soul and all those yeah, other bands. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, who it was shit. Him, but, I'm yeah. trying. Yeah, but one of them was like, hey, we yeah. used to rap about food. And yeah. they'd be like, it's like there's no difference from uh, coming across. But I guess I'm going to, getting I'm circling the wagons back here, and I posted another challenge to people listening, artists and whatever. Um, make us a Paul Reiser uh, image. <laughs> make us a Paul Reiser image for Sock Talk so we can put it up and just have him like just some Alex Rossi type of like <laughs> uh, holding up the American flag after like 9-11-S type of like crumbling. <laughs> oh, um, <God. laughs> I, I, that would be great. And it would be. Yeah, it would be amazing. And, or just like look up the cover for Couplehood and make us a zombified Paul Reiser or whatever. Um, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. I mean, either or. Listen, you can't look at this punum. You can't. <laughs> he's, just, yeah, he's just so soccer mom ready. Just, like, <laughs> just soccer mom from like 1990. Yeah, yeah. Not like acid wash. Moms. Every mom, every mom who's sitting down is wearing like a fucking pink vest. She's wearing like that shitty pink like suede yeah. vest and like some mom jeans with a bunt in the front. Some sort of tiger. Yeah, uh, pattern happening She's at one point. Fucking terrible. But I, I'm sorry. I don't mean it's Paul Reiser. Let's leave him alone, or we're giving him more credence than due. But, so, all right, Scott, you've listened to the podcast. Uh, you've listened to every episode. I was actually floored. I it. have listened <laughs> to every episode, and Anna I time. managed not to zone out through all of them so far. Oh, my so God, Congratulations. Really? Oh, thanks. <laughs> nice. All right, I'll take that. You guys got a little smutty for me when you had Jeff and Colleen on. Oh, really? Yeah. We do get a little That's randy. only because I'm old, though. Oh, okay. Because we should not <laughs> well, do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was trying to think of... I forget what I was doing. I was watching something like, oh, that's, that's horrible. And like my toe and my edge has totally been blunted. My, I forget what. <laughs> my edge has been blunted. <laughs> it's just, I forget uh, what it was, but it was something uh, just benign. I just got really upset by it. I don't know what, what it was. It could have been like some sort of like Tootsie Roll commercial or something or a fruit, <laughs> fruit roll up thing. Like, oh, why are those kids doing that? I was like, they should be ashamed. Um, Nothing about corporatism, just about the kids, like, oh, they were too close to each other, almost kissing. You know, just, <laughs> Why no, aren't they? Roll ups. Let's get this hot. <laughs> Let's sell some candy here. Open up. Come on. Open up your, your shirt a little bit, kid. <laughs> let's not be, let's not be uh, prudish. I can't remember, though, if you guys have ever discussed your comfortable footwear, considering the name of the podcast. Oh, yeah. Well, the whole... It's never happened. I don't know if you recall... Yeah. Did you, in the first one, were you making fun of the name? No. Eh, no. Sock Talk, because I put socks on the, the microphone, so it stopped the... PFR sound like, pfft. and PFR is actually another name that my uh, sister in law and my wife and a couple of collective people have for either period fart or pussy fart. So don't, sorry to bring it down a bit. No, it's but, good terminology. It makes PFR. sense. Makes sense. Um, yeah. I always so, hate having to say those like, PF, period yeah, fart. Yeah, it makes sense to just trim it down. PF. And P lips, I don't know if you've ever used that term. I think I brought it up on this, mm. which refers to. Pussy lips. Yeah, exactly. And I referred to my dog's pee lips at one point in some really? sort of game. Not lovingly. <laughs> it was more of a stanky, like, just kind of like, wow, what's that smell? It's, it's obviously her. Dog with her stank vulva. <laughs> yeah. Nasty. And all I can think when you say yeah, Sorry, Scott. You had, you had to mention it, and then we had to sorry. go down. But no, all I think about is pee lips, too, as well. Like, the pee from uh, the... What was the, the guy who throws spike shell or spike balls in um, Mario Brothers? Hakatu. Oh, the uh, the guy who fly, flies around on a uh, oh it was actually it isn't him oh um guy who flies on a clown uh, Lakitu Lakitu yeah oh my god actually, fucking kill him. me for knowing that please. no you were I thought it was Hak- <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like Hakatu but Lakitu yeah Ugh. I thought it was an H but it's no but it's the P wings thing you know when you get when you like when yeah, the P wings are awesome yeah that's all I think about for P lips is that weird that I combine like video game iconic. <laughs> like stuff from Super Mario Brothers and just uh, General. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's where we go. <laughs> uh, <a> meme. Yeah. <laughs> it should be. 
Everything just means idea. Mimetic. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is another weird... I, I think we've had this discussion, actually, on the Colleen and Jeff hour. Because, yeah. yeah, that... that like, I will say, and staff, my wife, who is, like, kind of the... She doesn't like this podcast. No, oh, yeah, so you know as, yeah. <laughs> Scott's familiar with the my, characters. Yeah. My girlfriend gave me, like, permission to say anything, except anything negative about her or whatever. You know? Oh, okay. No, Sweet. that's actually a very good um, distinction, because that's always Man. weird. Plus, that means she'll have to listen now to confirm whether or not it happened. Probably yeah. Probably will. Yeah. No, that's, that's it, though. That's all I'm saying about her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, JB gave JB looked at me square in the head and goes, listen, I got some ground rules. And I'm like, all right, all right. And then those... You don't mo- talk about my pips. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Speaking of They've which, I have to, uh, re- have to retract a statement. Oh, what? Julie called me out on it. What? On the, uh, the bat story from last week. I did oh, mention okay. that she screamed and that's what woke me up. What but apparently that's not what happened. She says I probably... <laughs> it was probably my who's scream. Ju- who's Julie, by the way? Uh, my roommate. One of my two Italian female roommates. Uh, from the meatball yeah, clan. From the pantheon of pizza gods. Um, <laughs> and she also questioned that. She was like, oh, does that mean you like pizza? Like the pizza I make? It's like, well, yeah, but it also <laughs> means you're a fucking marinara spraying Listen. wop like JB. Oh, my God. You're in the same, you're in like the well, same. It's, it's like the Abbott and Costello, like, we hate, uh, not hate the Italian, but just like that wave of ethnic humor that just keeps coming. Yeah, we you just two fucking dredge wrangle it out of the water. Yeah, you wrangle it in with a linguine lasso. It's oh. fucking. <laughs> My God. But yeah, I have to uh, retract that statement. Apparently, uh, it was either my girlish scream or the, a door <laughs> slamming that woke me up. Do you so. ever get uncomfortable finding mustache clippings that aren't your own? No, because I fucking mow oh, my bush over the toilet. So, you know. oh my God! You're like, oh, in, in are you talking about his? Uh, oh, like with like, roommates and involved. Oh yeah, I've never. I guess yeah, I can't I say that I live with my wife, but that'd be kind of weird to just like some guy, hey, what's up? I'm I've like, gotten like oh. over that. Like, I'll just walk around in my boxers with my fucking dong hanging out. I don't really care. It's well, just, I mean, because yeah. they're Italians. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Well, that and like, they're like, they're, I'm really good friends with them, so it's like, they're like any sort of, yeah, persona, it's like persona non nookie. It's just kind of, it's just like, I don't know. Is that the Latin term? <laughs> I guess so. Are you yeah. Italian or are you, you're Armenian? I'm Armenian, Italian. Yeah, Italian yeah. I don't remember that. I guess I'm part Russian too. Yeah, really? Fucking French so you, Canadian. Yeah, you got the whole Armo. Armo, I don't know if it's derogatory, I think. My buddy Vance would know. I think I, because him and I used to throw it back and forth. Cause we're genocidal brothers. Mm. Actually, you and I are too. Yeah. So, uh, That's being, true. Like, genocide. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bad stuff. One of the, yeah. <laughs> one of the first ones of the 20th century. I saw my family. To be on record. Uh, I guess that's how my old family came here. Oh, really? My whole, like, my. It's um, your dad's side, right? My mother, yeah, my dad's side and his mother. My dad's mother. Well, they did actually. They were the Turks. They did the killing yeah. of the Armenians. <laughs> yeah, she was 100% Armenian. I guess her. Oh wow. Her father um, had fled the the genocide, and like most of his family was killed. Like he was one of the few that made it over. I guess. So. Oh Jesus. Well, I guess I can't count my Boer ancestors as. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Recipients of genocide. You must be like, yeah. what are you? You got to be like, so I'm guessing you're Dutch. Welsh. Dutch? Oh, wow. Yeah. Dutch a little. I'm adopted. For all, I, all I can tell from, from what I've been told is Dutch and French. So, oh, wow. you know, I like to think Dutch because I might look. It sounds Dutch. more epic. I'm probably yeah. something completely else. <laughs> yeah. Like, like all that. Scottish or, you know, just like my name or something. Well, the <laughs> whole. Parents are, but. Yeah. The whole Nordic scene is pretty nuts. Like that whole area. It's like, really hot right now. Is it? Like uh, Scandinavian films and everything are like really, really popular right now. Oh, wow, weird. Oh, Troll Hunter was Scandinavian, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. was My girlfriend liked movie. that quite a lot. We watched yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Uh, I think I told you about that. We, they, were at, I, they were at Internet or Independent Film Festival of Boston last year. We, we were, oh, yeah, I missed that. I was supposed to see so, that. Oh, yeah. yes, that was the yeah. night you went uh, wackadoo. Yep. And then, <laughs> I had my little watched that adventure. Finnish film. Uh, I think it's called Rare Exports. Oh, no, I've Santa heard of it. or something. Like, oh. really? And it's about like a, a murderous... Santa Claus. What? It's a Finnish film. If you like Troll Hunter, really you think you should check it out. Okay. I'll check it out. See, that's one of the good things. Scott on this show will fucking give you if you he'll just oh. give you a whole bunch of stuff that you didn't know existed to check out. A whole bunch out. of useless obscura. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, this is with the whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we spent like ten minutes talking about Paul Reiser. Uh, How well, useless that's true. is that? It doesn't get more obscure than that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> or just um or sexy. Sad. Yeah. I'm, sexy. I'm, just, I'm in the middle of watching that Shark Night. Oh, how is that? I, I looked shitty, but like, I, it looked I'm on like a quest a good to watch every single awful shark attack. But that looks ever. like giant shark. No, megalodon versus giant. That's octopus. nothing. If you want to see the most god awful abortion of a shark film, you have to watch the two headed shark. What? It's what a shark. It's a film about a shark with two heads. Yeah. It has Brooke Hogan in it. Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Jerry Connolly's brother Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie. What? Okay. There's a point where the shark chews through the bottom of an atoll. 
chews through the bottom of an island, a coral atoll. What? That's, that's, How did they... It's that oh. aggressive. Well, I guess it loses all its teeth and then it, it grows back. It knows at all times. <laughs> if you, you know, if so you, it's omniscient, is what you're saying. <laughs> it is an omniscient two-headed yeah. shark. Uh, can you think of anything worse than that? No, no. Except if it had legs. No, but sci-fi I mean, movie of the week will think of something. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. I thought... I would avoid that one. I would but say Shark, Shark Night seems like a fun, like they know it's a shitty shark movie. You know fun I mean? fact, I have, I met Brooke Hogan. And, Did you? Yep. I met her when she first started her career, and I have a, the very first, co- one of the first few copies of her EPs, and it's in my, uh, it's in my. Her EP, like yeah. music? Yep. Yeah, her her first, like, music. It's, it's, what is with it's the daughters terrible. of all these reality yeah. show dads? Getting a, mu- a short-lived music career that I, soon turns to appearing on television. I have no idea. We went there like because Kelly was... Osbourne. You know. yeah, yeah, she's still working. We're... She's still like a fashion a fashionista yeah, kind terrible. of thing. She, she basically hangs out with Joan Rivers and just makes fun of people. On yeah, the well, it's very is, bizarre. Yeah. And my wife, my wife eats it up a little bit, but it just. Oh. Yeah, Your girlfriend was watching tough. it the other night. Yeah, well, it was a ghoul. Yeah, and she's still kind of funny though. But um, she can be funny. She yes. can be. Women can be she funny. She was funny guys. when she was young. She was hilarious. No, she no. she can still have some of that stuff. Actually, check out the Louis episode with her. Plug. Oh, she was in that. Yeah. She was. Oh, no shit. Uh, but no, I do agree. Like that. It, I don't know. It just that happens. I, it's just like there's a market set for it, and people do it, and then it goes where it wants. Because yeah. look at who thinks. I'm talking about podcasts. You have, fucking. So many pieces of shit just say, what do we get a microphone like ourselves? Oh, yeah. And just and broadcast everyone's, whatever. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> everyone's going for it, man. Bath you songs. say that, but like, I don't know anybody other than us who has one. Well, I know like 80 people. Do you? Well, I know a good amount. Well, I mean, you know more people than I do because you're a cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, or I go outside. Or I just like step out, walk in the street, and shake a hand. <laughs> I have a podcast. <laughs> hey, live. hey, come over here. Let's blow each other. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> That's a podcast. Like, so if you're a podcaster, is the audience a podcastee? Oh my god! I don't know where I've been. Like I cast the out term? demon. <laughs> Has there ever been like a blanket term for people who like podcasts? A podcast, a podcast listener. Think about. Oh, it. I don't that's, know. That's boring. <laughs> we need to, we need to, <laughs> we need to spice it up. Something. To, you know, uh, no, I think a podcasty, a podcasty seems like an aspiring podcaster. Mm. That's true. In a way, but. I, I don't know. Some, uh, a podanista? Podcastanista? <laughs> podanista. How about Podanista. verbal shit receptacle? <laughs> <laughs> that, that does sound that very... Works. That's like a tech... That's their technical term for it. Uh, I mean, PSR. We have to, <laughs> PSR. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get ready, all you PSRs out there. We're hitting the line. Uh, yeah, no, that's a very good point. I don't... Yeah, I guess... <laughs> to, uh, to dance around the other point of Brooke Hogan having a career. I, I mean, would you call a career? No. I mean, it, she's getting what exactly what... She's she deserves. Oh, well, she's yeah. a terrible actress, by the way. Not not that I needed to tell anyone. Yeah, that. sure. Oh. oh, was that? I thought yeah, that was, was a, that was a beefy chili fart. Oh I'm gosh. gonna be shitting my pants to the most oh, of this podcast. Goodness. Class it up, buddy. Yeah, I'm Class sorry. <laughs> I have my roommate Julie. She made fucking. She made like a homemade. Is it good? Chili. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. I've had like a gallon of it though. That's so I can tell. <laughs> the, are rumbling in we my will tummy. be telling. Yeah. We will, be, we will the, become intimate with this, this meal. This flash Oh, we will. The toxicity level will be recorded. Mm. We will have some sort <laughs> Give of... Give a Geiger counter. Yeah. yeah. Like going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Geiger. HR Geiger counter. That's what I'm looking for. I'm sure there are entire Hi-oh. podcasts out there of people just passing wind. Uh, I, yeah, along with the Headed blowing each other podcast. Oh. Just <laughs> side by side. <laughs> We're taking a caller and then go back to it. Uh, I want to get into some of the cool stuff that you do. What? Because you're an what interesting cool motherfucker. I, do. I yeah. have known you for. Let's not. Let's get back into everything the I do is lame. <laughs> yeah, no one should believe him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've known you for like, holy shit, I'm old. Like 17 years now. You have. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Got some motherfucker the, who got me into D and D. Pinnacle of D and D. Yeah. D and D and anime edition. and metal. Yeah. Dude, I met Scott in like the pinnacle of all fucking things. Yeah, like, like, like cool. record of Lodos for yeah. all day one day. Yeah. In like there Eria. Was like 15 people there. Yeah. We used to watch it like that all the time. Like Ghost in the Shell when it came out. Like oh, Eria. Yeah. Like yeah. all these fucking awesome animes that like. Well, just I met don't you guys anymore. through Greg, I think. Uh, can I Greg Fallon? And Mark Guy, maybe? I don't yeah. remember. Can I just say nerd? <laughs> I'm yeah. Sorry, I'll leave now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, yeah, I. I don't remember. So that's like the early '90s, like when that's up, or like early mid '90s. Yeah, dude. Like it was weird because like it was like this culmination of people that came together and enjoyed the best of anime, metal, fucking gaming. It was like the oh, yeah. height of everything, and then it just kind of like all 
went downhill in like two thousands. Well, but an- anime still has a pretty good foothold. Anime is we like, did have like yeah. a five year long D and D game with like twenty five players Jesus. at one point. So uh. I think it needed to come to an end. Oh. <laughs> we had our renaissance, our yeah. nerd yeah. renaissance. But those days were amazing. Yeah. You know, those were pretty fun days. What? Well, remember fun first times. meeting you through Brian, Brian yeah. Collins from Horror Movie at Day. At the last minute when I was... Yes. Yeah. Oh, but even before then, I remember because you had a copy of Blade because you worked at a video store <laughs> and you had like the screener copy. I didn't work at a video store. Or you had some screener copy no, you got from somebody. <laughs> uh, you had a screener copy. And you're like, oh, talk to my friend <laughs> Scott. And that's when uh, I Am was still around. Oh, yeah. And just I forget what... I forget what the name uh, your name was, but um, I remember just like Brian putting me in that position, like, oh hey, can I? It's like, um, I asked for like the copy, like no, no, I'm gonna make you a copy. I keep the screener. I'm like, okay, like I couldn't bargain, couldn't do it. <laughs> but I remember that was one of the first, and then we, I think we got more direct. Uh, we got, we worked together on we got fright more, reviews. More involved together. <laughs> yeah. Made for cable television. <laughs> yeah. Which I will say, someone did come up to me in the Rockingham Park Mall and actually recognize me from. Really? When it was broadcast. Oh, okay, from yeah. What? I thought that was extremely strange since yeah. I had a very limited <laughs> yeah. role and I was just... And know. that was like 99, right? 99 oh, 2000, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. It was, yeah. I, it was fun. Just recently made copies of that for Colleen. Much uh, to fucking Brian's... One. Well, one day <laughs> that may be the first understand. entry on your IMDB page. Oh, yeah, possibly. Yeah. I have a couple. What are you? T- Brian was. I don't think Brian's too happy about that. I, why would he be upset? I don't that, know. that seems silly. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> what he's not. Uh... Oh no! I guess because Colleen had been asking Brian for a while to, for DVD copies, which is pretty easy to do, kind of in general. But now, correct me if I'm wrong, but was there not a script being passed around for a third film? Oh yeah, I, I I remember being told that I was going to be a zombie lord. Oh yeah, something like that. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, you know, I can play someone besides myself. I wrote, yeah, I wrote something for that. I wrote something for that. And I wrote something for JB's AR2 universe. I wrote a script for that when I was in high school, huh. which was I don't know if you ever remember that. But no. we also were going to do a comic, which I still would love to do at one point, but I don't know, called Slum Lord. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. I still have Slum Lord floating around in the back of my mind, thinking of where I can interject him. What's Slum Lord all about? Did you see the movie? Slumlord is a <laughs> basically a brain damaged man with a ski mask and a baseball bat, <laughs> yeah. who can he has a high threshold for pain only because part of his brain is missing, mm-hmm. and he you know. And you go. I, I took it to a level where he had a, a, his a sidekick Petey, who just was yes, an, suicide uh, Pete. Suicide Pete, yes. yes. Who was just kind of an addict, who just kind of was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He just really wants drugs, and Slumlord just thinks he's a sidekick now because he say he stopped a drug deal while Pete was trying to get his fix. <laughs> yes. And Suicide Pete has been trying to kill him ever since he stopped him from getting his fix and just Slumlord takes him under his wing Holy but he, he wants he nothing to do with it every suicide attempt yeah exactly <laughs> 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 making his sidekick loathe him even more <laughs> yes exactly yeah that's awesome yeah, I had a script of uh, it was a band of like evil villains called uh, an acronym for Wigga it was just like yeah. it was just some weird and there were a bunch of weird we had gimmicks. like ego too like evil gay organization yeah. <laughs> they're all like <laughs> oh weird super soldiers <laughs> yeah you know? that's awesome no just a bunch of weird crazy uh nonsensical stuff that was really fun i had a really i still have a fixation with like just like um those old ideas oh yeah just just like afrocentric weird like um pimped villains like pimp villains from like the 70s or 80s which no well the tick needs you know a proxy he needs somebody to come in and take over where you know he's been missing from us for a while that's true is it really a funny superhero kind of right now that's out there deadpool yeah He's meant to men. Deadpool was sort of ruined for me when Ryan Reynolds. Oh, God. Oh, I wouldn't, you know. <laughs> fucking movie. At I least would... they're making a second one, so that ought to be good, huh? <laughs> yeah. I liked it. The guy who was writing it was like a shit stick. It was like, from the guy who wrote fucking Battleship in. <laughs> and like, oh, my God. Oh, Jurassic like, Park 8. Yeah, awesome. Doesn't uh, Deadpool, Deadpool, though, just feel like, na- like an ex- a, a slightly more asshole extension of Spider Man? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. always felt that way to oh, me. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, but I liked him. I would read the Kyle Baker. Jim Lapham, I think, or David Lapham, I think, Max series that's going on right now. It's really funny. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I am but so if you, out of date on comics. It's yeah, it's, it's almost, it, they make it almost utterly impossible to get back in. I started, kind of simply. I started, pick, I picked up the first four issues of uh, Avengers vs. X-Men. Oh, yeah. And, oh, uh, yeah, you were saying that. It's, it's pretty okay, I guess. Like, it's so, like, I picked, like, there's so much stuff going on, though. Like, I, like, I'm, 
picking up like this huge series. It's like this crossover series, and I was just mm-hmm. like, oh, Colossus is the juggernaut, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, how the yeah. fuck did that happen? There's just so many continuities. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, the last comics I've bought, I've been collecting the the trade paperbacks of Savage Sword of Conan. Oh, oh weird. I nice. love yeah. those. Yeah. They stick pretty loyally to the stories. Yeah, so. yeah. But it's just great stuff, you know, just... Savage Sword wasn't Boobs even the and first. Violence and that, well, that wasn't even the first issue. This first run, though, was it? No, it's the, it was the large. Well, what do they call them? The, the, the magazine size yeah. comics. What was yeah. the name of the guy who originally like wrote like Robert E. Howard. Yeah, Robert e. Howard, Robert e. Howard yeah. yeah, Savage Sword wasn't Robert E. Howard, right? No, no, no. Th- those were comics. Uh, a comic run based on his stories. Okay. One yeah. of several comic runs that were based on Conan. Oh, okay. So Robert E. Howard never he wrote a comic no, book for version? A, oh, oh, no shit. So Savage did, Sword yeah. was... Robert E. Howard died young. He wrote about... He invented about 20 different serial heroes. You know, Rand Macmore and Solomon Kane, who had a movie oh, that nice. came out a couple yeah. years ago and so forth. And he, he, he exclusively pretty much wrote in short story format. Sorry. That's cool. So, so not Savage Sword... Are you not hearing me? Oh, Savage Sword is like the first Conan comic book series then. I'm not sure if it's the first, to be honest with you, but I know they did several. But it, I remember it was originally... I think it was originally released in like a magazine format. Like a pulp kind but, of thing? Yeah, but I've got like nine volumes of this thing. It's just fantastic. It's awesome. I mean, just to pull I mean, to check that out. It's fun. I mean, I can loan them to you too if you ever just want to nice. sift through them. No, that's kind of a good thing about a comic book too. You can just kind of uh, throw it back to one another. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's... They're ups and downs to, um, I don't know, trying to get back into comics. It's a weird yeah. medium. I mean, it's so frustrating. I'm just happy for yeah. trade paperbacks. Yeah. Right? Just yeah. get into it all oh, at once. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of a great way to go. And I guess that's a place to plug, comically speaking, in Reading, Massachusetts, on Route 28. It's nice. And uh, should we get into, I mean, maybe, Scott, I, seeing as you listen to all our podcasts, uh, you're familiar with one of my, uh, one of my, I consider, gets would be to have whatever um, company like a certain banana company like bananas give you you know diphtheria or mm-hmm. just kind of like there's some sort of rabid uh, rabies uh, that emanates from sort of Walmart uh, brand crackers and we need to stop it or it's great <laughs> uh, like I want to try to get as many companies involved in this podcast in a, either derogatory or just kind of weird manner where they have to call me and be like please stop or we're going to sue it's like like <laughs> cease and desist sir it'll be funny until we actually get a law <laughs> yeah a well I mean law. they can just tell you can't mention it again and we'll just playfully go around and be like well this one and I'll just I know Hallmark is known to uh, go after people. Oh, right? really? For yeah, what? I think they went after Penny Arcade at one point. There really? Was a big scandal over that. I don't what? remember what it was about. <laughs> For what? I don't like, know. That's it was so ridiculous. weird. Yeah, that but awesome. you're making so much more of a thing about it because it's not like everyone at Penny Arcade is going to be like, well, oh, I well, think it was I, Hallmark, actually. Oh, yeah, weird. I, yeah. yeah <laughs> wow. Go what after the, ki- the guys who donate tons of money every year to poor kids and hospital wards. Yeah, or even, ju- it's Penny Arcade. Like, it's not like yeah. they're megalomaniacal. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let's not, you know. <laughs> oh, let, yeah, let's not split hairs. Yeah. Megalomaniacal. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, that's so bizarre. Like, go after a bunch of nerds, that's it. Oh, Hallmark. That's actually, like, Penny Arcade's actually the site where um, the group of guys that I spoke to on the forums there in, in the metal forum was actually where I started writing metal reviews. Are you still doing that, by the way? Yeah, no, I've, I've written thousands now. I remember, yeah. I remember you had I mean, like I a bunch that of them. That's mainly what I write. That's primarily what I write. So um, if anybody is interested in any underground metal, they can go to fromthedustreturned.com and read those. Dude, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, your knowledge of metal is... If right. you, if you have the patience absurd. to actually scroll through them all and, you know... It's absolutely ridiculous. Give a shit about my opinions. <laughs> there you go. But uh, yeah, so Penny Arcade is something I've been really into for a while, actually. Did, are those from? Are those the same guys that made the um, those Xbox Live games? Uh, like yeah, two the, RPGs. Press, yeah, Rain Slicked, Precipice of Darkness. Oh. Yeah. The, the third one comes out this summer, and it's being oh. done. And I think uh, I thought they weren't making it. bit style. Oh, oh wow. that's awesome. Yeah. And aren't they? They're one of the main like supporters of PAX. They are right. packs. Yeah. Oh, they, they are it, packs. It, oh, Penny Arcade. The organization came yeah. from their whole little huh. you know, oh, okay. empire. I mean, those guys have the life. I mean, they yeah. they were living it up, you know. And they Writing started... funny comic strips about games and then becoming like... A, they were in like the People Top 100, I think. Oh, really? weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they started back in like the early 2000s too, right? 19, I think the comic started in 1990. I collect the... Um, that's yeah. another comic thing I always pick up. Oh, cool. The, the, you know, the yearly annuals where they put together all the strips from that year and yeah. had commentary. Cool. Those are pretty cool, but yeah. So, wow, yeah, I, yeah, it's kind of bizarre where you see something go after, like, I guess right now it would be 20 years. So, uh, almost like, isn't that yeah. bizarre? It's yeah. just kind of a uh, it's troubling. 
<laughs> I'm just kind of listening to like room noise as I listen to everything in here and just kind of look around. <laughs> For Jason <laughs> Dubinsky. Uh, I remember I, with some feedback by Jason Dubinsky, a gentleman who writes for Awesome Town Reviews. I actually, I don't think he's ever, he hasn't written in a while, but it also was a site he was writing. Um, it could happen to you, or why does this happen to us? The Facebook group about yeah. his writing endeavors or whatnot. And uh, he was just, I forget, we were eating on one pro- a podcast or the beginning, or in, throughout the podcast, and that was his complaint. <laughs> Be it a comedic complaint or not, it was just... It was funny. You gotta eat. You gotta, <laughs> gotta Somebody eat. was complaining about you eating no. on the podcast. Yeah. These chili farts just don't happen, you know. You gotta eat yeah. something to make them happen. That's how we spice these things up. Oh, I gotta make it work. Uh, here we go, banana time. Speaking of video games, the fucking E3 coverage going on right Excuse now. Excuse me. Oh, here it yeah. goes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about the uh, mm. how much I hate Nintendo now. I, th- I think I'm officially done with Nintendo. That's like, so sad, isn't it? Isn't it? It really is, and like it's very disheartening. Like um, your buddy Razmig like posted. Um, buddy, oh, I don't know. Contemporary, sex, yeah. sex paid artist, partner. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he posted something about. I guess he's at the E3 thing, which is cool. I mean, it'd be cool to go and to check it out like live. But mm. he posted something about like you know Nintendo and like. Yeah, I read what you were saying. Yeah, the I Wii, agreed with everything was yeah, Wii U, which the finally U. updates it to PS3 level graphics. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's like, yeah. like, from what I've read about developers talking about it, that like it sucks to develop for. Like it's <laughs> it's really a uh-huh. shitty system to program program for, and that means even less third party support than the yeah. Wii, which was fucking terrible to begin with. So it's really like, was. and then it's like, I we have Arkham about City four games on my yeah. Wii. They're, they're like advertising Arkham my City Netflix like in E3. the bedroom. Yeah. Net, yeah, but like Netflix you can do that with anything. That's my thing. No, like, but I have the, Netflix in the uh, I think that, living room, and I have <laughs> one in bedroom. Oh, I get you. So the, I mean, the problem with the Wii was that I'm rich. fundamentally, <laughs> as a gamer, I want to sit on my fucking ass with my controller and get taken away somewhere. Yeah, you know? exactly. If I want to jump around and play tennis, I'll go outside and play tennis. Yeah. So it's no surprise to me that it's the waggle is getting old. You yeah. Know? Like people are starting to get tired of it. This is not enough. Support. And now it's but like Connect yeah. outdoes it even. Oh yeah. Connect even outdoes it. I didn't even, have, it. Con- I, I didn't even no, bother with it. Even, yeah, exactly. I think the combination or the being able to the choice to do like okay, I don't want to waggle the stick, so why don't I just fucking play on a controller? If I you have, have that option, I think that's great. But I have they no don't desire even, to for like complete video game immersion. I don't need that. It's, I don't need to fucking crawl yeah. into my TV. I don't fucking need that to like be real. And like the thing with the Wii U is, it's like, <laughs> it's, like it's like oh, we're gonna we have Arkham City coming out. It's like oh cool, that came out eight months ago. I've beaten it. I played it. I've beaten it. It's like I don't fucking need to see it. But like, now the looking, Wii has it. It's like I don't need to see it looking exactly the same as it does on a PS3 when I'm gonna be playing a fucking PS4. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like what are you what are you doing? Who gives a fuck? It's like stop, make good games again. I don't know, exactly. And and I mean seriously, with all these things coming out at the same time, I mean it's just. I mean, there was a time where I used to be able to control it and, and yeah. save the money and buy every single one of these consoles. But with the, the prospect of having a Wii U, I've still got to get the 3DS, the, the Vita. I haven't got that yeah. yet. I'm well, I think I'm also what is the that? Vita? It's the, it's it's the new the PSP. PSP. Oh, yes. Yeah. My I had a PSP. That was like this past fall or whatever? Yeah. I find my video game tastes are starting to draw much yeah, the very further towards indie games. Yep. Really simple graphics. Yep. You can play them on anything. You can get them on your PC, on your you know, like the Xbox mm. Live Marketplace or the indie market. Yes. Is fantastic. Yeah. What was the the uh, the game though? Just simple. I forget what it is. Speedster or Speedrunner? Have you played it? I don't. Speedrunner. I'd recommend it. It's pretty. It's just running and jumping, hmm. and it's pretty awesome. There is a it's lot of tough. great games, and this and this yeah. some good, really good. Like I, I just recently they had a sale, and I bought the the Pixel Junk games on the PS3. Oh, okay. Those yeah, games yeah. are phenomenal. They're so deep and like rewarding, and the art is like simple, but it's like you know really. It's elegant. Yeah. yeah no, it's just, just. I don't really need Call of Duty Modern. What's the fuck? Five. Games. I just. Uh, I don't care. Which I have are, like so many people. Uh, like so many of my friends play that, and they're like, "Oh, do you play Call of Duty?" And it's like, "No." They're like, "I'll just join the military." Yeah, it's like I. Yeah, that's what bothers me about those games. Really it's like a re, like I, if I'm playing a shooter, I need it to be like against aliens yeah, or some sort of the, menace. I, I, need, I, I don't want to realistically kill. Yeah, yeah, I don't really realistically want to. Don't you hate brownies, buddy? Yeah. Don't you? It's like it really is a kind of like it's a. Game. Yeah, but it's also there's the new Tom Clancy one too, which it's like, Ghost Recon. Yeah, yeah t- or take I your can't drone. keep track of them all. I mean, well, six no, it's, yeah, it's like, well, it is. And Rainbow it's all, seven. <laughs> <Rainbow eight. laughs> We're taking down these terrorists, and it's just kind of like, all right, we get it. And then they have the drone warfare, where they totally like. Here's the thing: no matter what, you, I love video games. I love the fantasy of video games. I like shooters, and I like the realistic yep. aspect of it. But here's the thing: I do not care for the glorification of drone warfare. And like, and all went. No, I mean that's. I mean that's what yeah, it is. That's yeah. what it's doing. Yeah. And it just like it's trying to ease us into what's already happening. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, or just exactly. like, yeah. Yeah, shh, you don't need to worry about it. 
And just Maybe like, that's what Left 4 Dead is. You've been hearing about all the zombie attacks going on, apparently. Well, it's all bad related. I think the next related. Splinter Cell game should just have Sam Fisher traveling around to various AAA you know, meetings. <laughs> <laughs> meeting hookers. Maybe they should just have him in the next Grand Theft Auto. Actually. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Only if it's still done by Michael Ironside, that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh is he the guy I who did it? I love Michael Ironside. Oh, wow. I think Michael I Ironside was the worst. Yeah, he's great in anything, really. He's, just, uh. he's awesome. <laughs> well, that's the character actor old school, the podcast. Yep. He's one of those people I would like to see get like a, a hobo with a shotgun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do one with Michael yep. Ironside, like an exploitation. He was a good movie. bad motherfucker back in the day. He was a that good was campy I mean, bad like, motherfucker. Was, was that last year? Because that was hobo by far my favorite years ago, movie of the like year. A, yeah, that was another one that was at Boston yeah. Underground Film yeah, Festival. It was like a year and a half ago. Oh, it's brilliant. The guy who played Stanley Tweedle on Lex, Brian Downey, played the main villain. So he had had an accident for a few years, and he... I, I don't know if he was mugged or got in an accident or something, but uh, he hadn't been acting for a few years, so that was like his comeback. And he was just fantastically diabolical, totally yep. cheesy, you know. Yeah. And the risky business looking <laughs> kids yeah. going around yeah. murdering everybody was just fantastic. It was basically, arcade, yeah. Yeah, it was like essentially a trauma movie yeah, with like trauma. a great yeah. actor. He had like a great lead. Rutger Howard is like a real actor. Yeah. Yeah. Rutger Howard is just awesome. And, and, the, and that was Michael their Ironside? dream, too, yeah. to have Roger, the director and producer, like right? That's I awesome. Think this Wasn't line. he in Transformers, though? He did get into wasn't like he in the last Transformers? Or Rutger? He was a submarine captain. No, that was in X Men First Class or whatever. Oh, you're right. Michael there you go. Ironside, right. which one of the big movies I was just kind of surprised. Yeah, to he see was. Him there. He was there. It was great. But yeah. I would have loved to seen him as Norman Osborn. I would like to see him. I he mean, would have been I that bad pretty great. Before we lose this great man, I think he needs, <laughs> he needs something he spectacular. You know? Yeah, let's give him a yeah. call. Let's have a fun riser and let's have a Ironside <laughs> a fun riser and Ironside burn. No, Ironside fight chat. Oh no! Make Iron a double bill. Have Chant Wings Hauser or something. Fireside there Chant. You go. Oh, how? Oh, maybe. Remember Wings Hauser? I do. Big head, like '80s actor guy. Mm. Do you see that movie Rubber? That really strange movie. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, couldn't, I couldn't it. do it. He's actually in that. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I gave that movie a good half hour of my time, and then I just couldn't do it after it's, that. It's a meta film. Yeah. It's a film about. I never met a. It, ha- it had likes. me, dude. The opening had me too, because like it points it's out that it's a up, fucking yeah. joke. It's like, oh, you know, the, the whole no point thing. I was like, that's yeah. awesome. I was like, that's a great intro to the movie. And then I was like, this just keeps on sucking. <laughs> dull is dull. Yep. Speaking of which, on your recommendation, not to drag the movies out too Uh-oh. long, but I did watch the Thing prequel. Yeah. And I found that the tone and the actors were pretty decent. Well. They're, you know, they're pretty loyal. However, it's still kind of... I just don't see the necessity of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 it doesn't no, no, no. need to exist it's at all. It's like it kind of makes the other movie have less of an impact on me because I've already seen... And they even yeah. try to replicate the same scenes well, like that's the, the, from the other movie. But that's the like thing, though. Is like it's a perfect... It's an, it's, like a, it's an absolutely like perfect step by step of what happens in the next right. one it's 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 cool because like it has they, love they, yeah it, it's flawless yeah. it's absolutely flawless in it's like execution like this is you know it's like it, it covers all the bases and it was great but like you said it doesn't need to exist like it's it's purpose it's like, it's like eh, it doesn't need to exist but i'm, I'm kind of yeah it's it's fun you know, I, I I couldn't hate it. I was watching yeah. it. I was into it. The the, the special I like the lead. I like the female lead. Yeah, she was good. She was in um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, I think. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yep. And uh, Christian Olsen. I forget the guy. The it has a lot of people you yeah. recognize. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. He's yeah. in a bunch of stuff. I forget. Yeah. I saw um, I saw Snow White and the Huntsman last night. Oh, oh was man. it no? Good. You know what? Yeah. Here's what's weird. Is like. I think Chris Hemsworth is like proving his acting chops. Like he's a pretty decent actor in this. He's fucking great in this. And like Charlize Theron was awesome. Like, but who else is in? Yeah, the Kristen movie? Stewart Kristen is just Stewart. a fucking like a, a fish gasping for air on land in this Ooh. like movie. Like she is in everything else. She's so she's like, evolving, is what you're saying? Yeah, she's just got, like, coming her out of the primordial yeah. hose and trying to yeah, this make is her way. <laughs> Mouth agape, eyes vacant. <laughs> Did you really want that role too? Uh, she fought for this role. Was it a? Bu- was it based on? No, what? it's 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 weird because like visually, it's a fucking visual like orgasm. That movie, it's so good. The sets, the costumes, the monsters look. The monsters, dude, it was visually phenomenal. Like it was fantastic. Like I haven't seen something that looked Yo, that ditto, good in a long time. Yo, ditto. Your skittle over. Yeah. Insert. 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 Um, no. Insert. Comment. Insert. Go. Lost me. Go. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Go but keep going. yeah, but uh, like, it it doesn't really. There's really kind of no point to it. It's just kind of like ho- it's not hollow because there's parts of it that are good. Like once the seven dwarves kick into the seven dwarves are awesome. Like however they did the, 
I think they did the same sort of thing they did in Lord of the Rings where it's like real actors but they make them look smaller yeah. and like Ian McShane is one of them oh, Nick God. Frost is one him. of them who's Ian McShane Ian McShane the oh yeah Deadwood. he was Blackbeard yeah. in the latest Pirates movie uh, oh yeah and, and he was uh, in which I liked and I don't give a fuck what anybody says I don't <laughs> yeah, really but you're a pirate. fantasy pirates <laughs> yeah. Why did, when did everybody become so jaded <laughs> when we were kids we would have killed to see fantasy pirates sure. killer mermaids and Blackbeard yeah, and everything yeah. uh, now everybody's just an asshole <laughs> <laughs> the first one the first one had me I like the first one. The second one, I don't like Orlando Bloom. I don't. The third one has weaknesses, as in we're cheap. We're not going to do a shit battle. They just have to. Wait a minute. The newest one was the fourth one. Yes. Yeah, I hated the third one. The third one, there were things I liked in it, but it was sinking. The first two I loved, and the newest one. First one I loved. Second one I thought was cool, but it was a trailer for the third one. The third, the second one was basically a two hour, two and a half hour long trailer for the third one. That's true. Well, they were one movie. Split it to two parts. They yeah. were filmed at the same time. Oh, was it? That's the lack of budget because of the Kraken to do certain other things. I got you. I didn't see the fourth one at all, though. I don't know. What the hell is it called? Uh, on Stranger Times. It's actually oh, based okay. on a Tim Powers novel, a British fantasy writer who's pretty good. Huh. Well, I might have to check yeah. it out, then. It's pretty good. But, uh, I liked it, but everybody, you know, everybody else hated it. Yeah, so then there's no way it also has Bob Hoskins in it. He's one of the Oh, dogs. really? He's like a, yeah. So it's like you have like these elements that are amazing. Like all of them are amazing actors. Like nothing made me happier than seeing Nick Frost as a dwarf. I was like, dude, that's mm-hmm. the dude from Shaun of the Dead. I was like, mm-hmm. that's fucking awesome. And all they were wicked hard ass. And like there was really cool fair fantasy elements. Like, oh, what else was they going to they look just out came out with another Snow White movie too? Yeah, Mirror Mirror. Why did they do that? Yeah, because like, I like, saw Mirror Mirror, Mirror too. And Armageddon. Remember yeah. that same yeah. time? Yeah. Well, like, it's a, they they have to compete with other. Yeah. that's the whole thing. Mirror Mirror like was the other one, and that was directed. The reason I saw that was because of comedy. Yeah, it was, and, and like the reason I saw that is because I love the director. Well, Dramarity, favorite director. Have you seen the German film Dwarves? No, no, no. It's a Snow White is it ridiculous pornographic? comic. No, it's not uh, pornographic, right? but out. you want it to be as you're watching <laughs> yeah. it because yeah. it definitely has the same feeling as watching. German I love seventies German, German pornography. German pornography is pretty sick. They get really into that. Well, seventies shot on film, yeah. it looks good, and they're they're just good to liqueur. Yeah. Right. That's all <laughs> I get. I, Baron I von Scheiser. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, none of that. None of that, you <laughs> sicko. Yeah. Yeah. But. That mine, go ahead. Stare down. What were, uh, Choco chocolate raisin. They're delicious. Yeah. What are you doing on your phone there, buddy? Oh, Pay attention just... to the podcast? That's cool. <laughs> Sorry, you lost me. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, well, now you have to explain who you're texting. I'm not texting. I'm just fucking scoping out... Uh... Oh, uh, dude, Jeff O'Brien wants me to ask Scott about uh, the Dungeon Bat reunion. Oh, my so God. So we'll have to hit him up with that when he comes back. Dun- oh. So, uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, um, when Jeff gets back, I have to talk about a weird Prometheus stream I had last night. Oh, do tell. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't. All right, well, I, 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 I need I'm, the group to be here because I think I need another outside. Okay. Weird, I'm weird starting to get a little. It sucks. Like my my fucking boner for that movie. Why you shouldn't listen to? I know, you shouldn't. I know. But like I mean, some of the stuff that I, like the reviews I read. None of the reviews I read had read spoilers. Anything. Yeah, but just don't. But read it was just kind of. Just it's watch the movie and see what you like. I mean, do you agree with every review? No. You ever read? No, 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 not at all. But, like, it's, it seems to be kind of a consistent theme to, like, the yeah. reviews. Well, let me just let you, just, you have to remember. What do know, I have to remember? This sounds like it could be sage-like advice. All right, listen. You just have to remember, this is not one day. Do you understand this? Not one. The word chicken, preceded by some enthusiastic whine or indifference and frequently followed by even less enthusiastic, or maybe fish, uh, I don't care, it, it's up to you, is by far the most commonly heard expression in our home. Perhaps second only to, you get it, you get it, you get it, you <laughs> get it. <clears throat> Does he really repeat it that many times? No. Oh. Chicken or fish, that's basically what it comes down to. Fucking hate Paul Reiser. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> no, I'm just Such kidding. a stain. I love to hate him. Oh my god! But you I got hate to th- love he him. gives you something to do. He gives his podcast something to do. When uh, Scott's out and our guest is out, we're just clamming. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to talk to John again. <laughs> and then, and then we go back and forth and just crazy. You and I can't carry a conversation if we have a guest. I've noticed that. I, I I'm actually kind of sick today, so I'm kind of just leaving. Uh, you got leaving. the diarrhea. Not diarrhea. Okay, thanks for going there. That's like the first thing. No, I feel a little sickly and just fever. If you want to feel the head, I don't know if you... Like a sick boy? Yeah, a little bit, a little burning in films. Furniture store. I love that fun. Bernie! <laughs> Bernie's dead. Now their kids are doing it. This is more regional for anyone who listens outside of the New England area. Uh, very crazy. Uh, look it up online if you can on YouTube, Bernie and Phil's furniture commercial. Did you pee in a corner or did you find it? <laughs> I 
Oh, good. good. Either way, it's an old building. It's got to have a... It um, took about six doors for me to... Oh, buy yeah. It. Sorry. I have a request okay. for you. A uh, request from Mr. Jeff O'Brien would like to know about the Dungeon Bat reunion. The Dungeon Bat reunion? Yep. Well, as soon as <laughs> Jeff force, uh, takes back what he said about Dio being the better singer of Black Sabbath... <laughs> Whoa! ...over Ozzy Osbourne... Oh, go for it. <laughs> ...then I'll consider it. Nice. Interesting word. I, for one, would like the to Gauntlet see the Dungeon Bat thrown. reunion. Dungeon Bat was the shit, dude. I used to go to every Dungeon Bat show. It was fucking... Symb- Thrash Metal 01844. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Symptom of the universe, Jeff. Symptom mm-hmm. of the universe. Oh, wow. <laughs> what would you um, what would you go dressed as? I'm oh, now giving you more I shit. I mean, I would obviously have to put on corpse paint and take pictures of dressed as a fucking black metal <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Jeff did that, remember? No, that was he- me. No, but didn't Jeff have corpse paint on at one of our gigs at the little... Um, if he did, he's just as much of a jerk-off as I was for doing it. Hey, we were all jerk-offs. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm the only one who gets his balls busted about it. Because <laughs> yeah. it's photographic, photographic evidence. evidence. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the hair, people. The hair. Mm. No, I love that band. I mean, I love those guys. They're all great. And, you know, mm-hmm. it was a lot of fun. Yeah. You guys were good. You were fucking good. It's too. weird because I've had several other bands since then. You know what I mean? So my attention has kind of gone away from that. But, yeah. you know. Well, I get that too. It, like people yeah. say, when are you going to serve your sentence? That was originally said for you <laughs> yeah. ten well, years ago. There are some okay. certain persistent people that were always begging for a reunion, but you know. Weird. Well, um, Scott, now that you're back, I'm going to give I'm going to give to the listeners what I promised them a minute ago. I had a weird Prometheus dream last night, oh. and it was like this. This is how it went. <clears throat> Wait for it. Go. I'm strapped in. All right, good. <laughs> so what happened was, have you guys seen the Coors Light commercials that correspond with Promethe- Prometheus oh, Tie-Ins? Yes, I, I, I they're saw really, that. So. They're Someone really yesterday. bad. Yeah. Like, really, like, it's not like, someone thirsts for something. It's like the trailer, like, oh, we're looking for something. It's like, oh, shit, it's Prometheus. But, all right, we're excavating an earlier civilization. What do they have to tell us? You're thirsty. <laughs> cool as light yeah, and it just a, kind of like unveils like these <laughs> like tablets so it's really it looks bad too like it yeah. looks like shittily done like just a Coors Light just sitting there and rotoed in like a like an asshole <laughs> but you see the and I've been watching you know I, I told you guys earlier uh, I like the NBA and I've been watching the playoffs recently but so those are on all the time because people need to drink to enjoy sports for some reason but because sports are boring. Yeah, yeah there why. you go, unless you're playing it. Yes, I agree. Uh, I agree. Uh, but, so, this last night, I had a dream, and for whatever reason, you know when you have a dream and just, like, you remember a section, and you know it belongs to a, a larger body of whatever you were, you were kind of, yep. you know, floating in that fluid of what, uh, craziness like, in your unconscious state. So what happened was, um, for whatever reason, I remember being in, like, a movie theater, and it's like, oh, we're watching Prometheus. I remember it's like, oh, oh, oh man, me. hick up. Hick down, brother. Let's take it easy. <laughs> Suddenly I face hugger. Hick yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, watching Prometheus. And for whatever reason, like, uh, the mode in the dream is like, okay, this is the middle. And all of a sudden, like, oh, it's a tense building part. And all of a sudden, like, it stops. And the lights kind of go up like it's a, a concert. And the, the film stops. And uh, Bill Hader from Saturday Night Live fame and... I forget what he was in, like, you would know John Hurt Scott. I don't know. You can look it up later, but Bill Hader is on, like, the pian- is on like the keyboard. <laughs> like, doing a keyboard thing. And one of my good friends, Barbara, from college, comes out singing in, like, a black, like, short wig. And just, like, singing a, a, a Pepsi ad. <laughs> like, there's, what? like, it's, like, an intermission with, like, Pepsi. And just, like, all these Pepsi bottles start showing up, like, giant bottles and people in, like, Pepsi cans with, like, uh, can can dancing legs, and everyone in the audience is like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> it's just like an intermission of uh, Pepsi, and it seems like they're going live on tour with it, and then it's just it's just a fucking brief intermission of this is brought to you by Pepsi. There's like some dude outside your window in a car with a Pepsi fucking <laughs> mind control gun pointing at your This is you for talking shit about Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser sponsored by Pepsi. <laughs> Actually, I think it was at one point. I <laughs> really love those train. Hulu ads that they had like Alec Baldwin and oh, everybody yes, do those. Are just fantastic. Yeah. Alec Baldwin's awesome. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. He's so awesome now. It's, <laughs> it's become more awesome. No. 
Yeah, I don't know. Now that he's not starring opposite Kim Basinger or whatever he used to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. As a career and life. <laughs> Kim Basinger, hey, great tits. <laughs> great lips. Yep. When is that coming out? Is that this weekend, Prometheus? Yeah, the yeah. Friday. Oh my God. But you have to, yep. It has to be. Yeah. I think it has like an 80% something on Rotten Tomatoes. No, it's so. not bad. It's, but Rotten Tomatoes has gotten kind of soft, I found, yeah. over the last couple of years. I was telling Phil, I got a little disheartened by some of the reviews I read. I, but, all I want it to be have is to a watch. serious, smart science fiction yeah, movie I, that I takes know. itself seriously. I'm so sick of like all the just idiotic, yeah. you know. Oh, fucking John Carter comes. All right, people. John Carter came out on Blu-ray today and DVD. Oh, fucking did? buy it. I didn't see it. It's, it's fucking it's great. great. I, mean, I, I buy love, it. I love the. A old lot of books. people give it shit. Yeah. Oh, it, it looks nice. It deserves yeah. every Edgar fucking Burrow, penny yeah. it didn't get. So yeah, I think if people. Oh, there's no story. The story shit is like I watch every like I have Netflix. Show me. I watch every single one of these nerd movies that I miss in the theater every single time. So. Yeah, Netflix. Is, yeah, you've heard me on the show. Oh, yeah. It's all Netflix. Yeah, dude, <laughs> speaking of Netflix, like I am fucking hopelessly addicted to workaholics. Oh, it's great. Oh, oh so I, yeah, just but anyone out there watch the Coors Light commercial. Oh, Try yeah. to find it for Aliens because it's really weird and it's like terrible. It's yeah. so terrible. It's, well, didn't did did I not hear that he said his next film is Blade Runner Two? Yeah. Yeah. That, what the fuck? Like, possibly. He's yeah. like, is he scared of his mortality or something? He's suddenly <laughs> revisiting all these. You know, these properties well, he, that are he fantastic. Well, he dusted off a it. Philip K. Dick novel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's so many other Philip... Oh, there's oh, still there are. many yet Man in the High Tower. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. What about that Toro... Did Philip... they make a film of that? Oh, man. I don't think, I don't think so. so. The Toro that's Recall when, like, remake is Ubik a Philip K. Dick, right? I don't think they've made any of those. Yeah, I think that's like... Man in the High Tower is when like, yeah. they section off America, right? And they just kind of do the weird, yeah, awesome... Easily. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Total, total awesome. Recall's Philip K. Dick. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, uh, we could remember you wholesale. It's a story. I think go. it's a novella. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a short Did you read <laughs> it? Novella. Yeah. All right, so does the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger have anything to do with the book? A little bit, more yeah. or less. Is yeah. It, was there mutants and Mars and shit and aliens? Well, it's about like the whole thing where he go he, the vacation idea of like right. you go off and. But that was there. They had nothing to do with like aliens or. I think it might. I think. Yeah. I think I don't know. Usually, everything is a little far removed from what Philip K. Dick yeah. wrote in the first. Because like place. I know they're making a new, they're making they're doing the remake with Colin well, I, Farrell. I didn't, who I I didn't hate. see Scanner Darkly, by the way. Oh, he, Scanner, Scanner Darkly is good. It's, it's worth slow. it just to watch yeah. the rotoscoping. Oh, yo, that's yeah. yeah. That's, that's He's done that before. I have that. Linklater's yeah. done that before. Yeah. yeah. And Robert Downey Jr., who is, yeah. just tears the movie up as Woody, usual. And Woody Harrelson. Yeah, Woody Harrelson's awesome. Yeah, Woody Harrelson's oh, yeah. awesome it's a good movie. It's, it's even hard to hate Keanu in that movie. Although I admit I don't hate him all the time. So. No, I'm not. I'm actually kind of a fan of him. Stiff board actor. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's, like exactly. That. It's yeah. like you know what you get. It's one of those things like, what are you expecting? Yeah. Kind of deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, like, always like, like oh, kung fu, and always yeah, making like, fun well, of stuff. I was thought it was a weird choice to put in Bram Stoker's you wish Dracula. You could have been in that movie. Yeah, yeah. he's mocking. He's him. fucking you get Gary yeah. Oldman and like <laughs> Gary <laughs> Oldman and Anthony Hopkins with Keanu Reeves. <laughs> and <laughs> like, who wait, else? <laughs> and I figured who else was in it that was um who played um oh the foil not. Not the Van Helsing, but the female foil to Van, uh, to Dracula. Oh, uh, the Italian broad. <laughs> Elizabeth Mastramo, is that? No, no, no. Uh, the Italian chick. <laughs> Monica Bellucci. Oh, God. She, yeah, she was one of the vampire succubuses, actually. She's one of the hottest really? women in the entire Italian. Oh, no, no, that's not, that's not what I, who I was referring Vincent, to. Oh. Vincent Cassell is a lucky man. That's oh, really? Act, famous actor husband. Yeah. Wow. Monica Bellucci. Good. Good tits. Shows them in everything. Check Gets, it out. Gets uh, violently <laughs> raped. It's okay for me to fawn over Monica Bellucci because my girlfriend knows I do it all the time anyway. Oh, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't know she was in that. That makes her... Yeah, she's one of the, yeah, the vampire, vampire uh, chicks that drains his blood every night. So, yeah, what... Um, what's the word? Of, oh, so we were going on Workaholics. I'm sorry to take away from oh, that. Yeah. I'd recommend watching... It's kind of I haven't watched yet. I wanted to watch it. I started watching the, the IT crowd, which is a really popular yes. show. You don't care for it? Yes. I haven't no. watched oh, I saw much that clip. You, you sent me a clip of that. It oh, yeah. It's funny. amazing. Yeah. Uh, I only got into Archer like four dude. months ago, and that is like my favorite that show. Is a great show. Yeah. That is Adventure John, Brothers no. are just, you know. Yeah, uh, it's John Benjamin. Ben- you said I love Brothers? He's, yeah, he's another guy on WTF. Uh, they do. He's on a couple episodes. But if you're a comedy nerd, he also is from Worcester. Oh, is he? And he was, yes, he was that. involved with David Cross and Cross Comedy when David Cross yeah. was doing comedy in Boston back in the is, late 80s, early 90s. Did, did you see David Cross's uh, recent TV show? Bigger, Blacker, no. Bigger and Blacker? Or no, which one? Oh, Todd Margaret. I love yes. that show. Oh, I loved it. The it's first, ridiculous. I haven't seen the second season. I saw the first one. Netflix? I haven't seen the second no, season no. either. But um, if you think, I know you don't like Seinfeld, but if you think, it's just an example, I think I threw this out to you last time, but if you think George Costanza is embarrassing. 
this is ridiculous. Ten it's times. so hilarious. Yeah. It's just completely and ridiculous. And what's his name? Will Arnett is awesome in it, too. He's just Will cool. Arnett's pretty yeah. great, though, in everything. Yeah. Thunder yeah. Muscle. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's really good in this show. You should watch it. Yeah. I think you'd like it. That's good. There's only it, a few episodes, too. The, it's the only like five. Short. Yeah, it's yeah. series, as the British go. But yeah. oh, Matt Berry is another guy who did a thing with David Cross, actually, when he was out there filming Todd Margaret. And he's on the IT crowd. He plays Renum Industries. One of the Renums. Right. Like, oh, I don't know how many seasons of... Um, I've only watched IT. a few episodes of, of the IT Crowd. IT Crowd is a good... Like, you were talking about, uh, I think, off-air. I forget if it was on-air. It's only been an hour, but it feels like it all waves into each other <laughs> a little bit. But um, the comfort level of listening to a podcast, like, that's one of the shows that I feel like... I don't know, like, Community is a comfort show to me, but also yeah. I, I find Absolutely. some parts of it are a little... My thing about Community is that I tune in for the theme episodes. Yeah, I yeah. love, you know, the D&D episode. And the, the Law episode, and Order right. episode was really that funny. That was pretty amazing. But when they're not doing that, when it's not, like, such a bold gimmick to the episodes, I find that, like, I tune out a little bit to it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's better than most of the crap that's on TV. So. Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of thing we're kind of yeah. bogged down with. Oh, this is okay. This is good enough. Yeah. It's like, eh. That's, that's the not thing. the way People to be. People kind yeah. of settle for... You know, mediocrity. Uh, or something, yeah, maybe. and I think community definitely falls in that. Like, yeah. it can be good at times, but also it can kind of be like, meh. It can be very meh. Yeah, it's not on all the time. It's yeah. not on on fire. Well, uh, season two is really good. I recommend it. And then they like, kind of they forget about season two and season three because they kind of build up like the actual like, oh, this happened, and they build up the relationships that were built and yeah, they kind of broken down. But yeah, IT crowd that that is definitely a cover chill. That. That's, it's pretty good. It's, they, all the episodes are pretty good one and done. You know what I mean? You can watch it's any British, of them. British, right? Now that Game of Thrones yes, is it's over, English. I'm going to have to Thank find you. something else to oh, watch. Oh, British, yeah. What is? Game of Thrones, last oh, night, dude. the second season finale. I fucking, I got so into that. Like, I watched the whole first season in like two days. And then, Did like, you watch the second one yet? I got like three se- three episodes in, and then I moved, and we don't have HBO, so I haven't oh, been able man. to watch it, so I'm wicked fucking bummed out. I, all I want to do is watch it, because I loved it so much. We keep we we have HBO because for me it's Game of Thrones. For my girlfriend it's True Blood. I still like to watch True Blood as well. The last season sucked, but the first few seasons were fantastic. So I haven't seen True Blood. It's like another. There yeah. are like four or five seasons I don't want to uh, get involved it's with. It's fun. It's I mean considering that they took it off this woman's series of vampire books and made something so kind of kinky and and fun out of it. Yeah. You know, it's it's a good show. And Boardwalk Empire too. That's another great. I've show. I've that's good. Seen the first yeah. four episodes of that. Isn't that Steve like, Buscemi in it? Steve yeah. Buscemi. He is fantastic. Buscemi. And uh, what's his name? There are a whole bunch Michael of Michael Pitt. Fantastic. Like huh. people. You know, yes. A lot of good people. And Shannon. Michael Shannon or whatever. Michael Shannon, who kills every, and everything he does all. Of oh, the and his and, face. Like he does. Like yeah. you talk about an actor who acts with his face a lot. Like yeah. everybody in that. Like Michael Stuhlberg. Yeah. Everybody yep. is just so good. In that and the sets in it are fucking fantastic. Oh, Dabney Stuhlberg, Coleman's in it. Right. Dabney Coleman. He plays uh, what's his name? The the the, the commission. Uh, was it the commissioner? No, he plays like one of the Carnegies. Or no, he plays one of the. He plays. Oh shit. He's his mentor, basically his. Yeah. You know the the previous boss of Atlantic City. Pretty much like the old. He plays the old old money. Like uh, yeah. you're talking about Carnegie or any of the other yeah. guys who are like spread the fear of the Jew. <laughs> and, um, yeah, he's. Which is very bizarre. It really gets into a really cool like underpinning like anti-Semitism kind of thing that yeah. goes close to it. There are scenes in that show that just you chilling. just drop your jaw and you're just when that happened. You're like, oh good. God, I wish yeah. more TV shows were like that. You know? Yeah. Well, guys, we're talking a lot about TV. Yeah. And it's, it's that show again. But all right, let's let's get away. Let's move back. Let's get into this and let's feel the flow. Tell you what, I'm gonna Focus. urinate and then you get. What really? Come back, I'll start fresh. Off of that, you're start really. Fresh. That's yeah. what I did. I'm gonna start fresh. Oh my I'm gonna God. Jump in. I'm gonna jump in. Whatever you guys right. are talking about. All right, good. Revived. All right, so, well, Scott, it's been a while. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's one on one. It's been a while since we. <laughs> we chatted. We were alone. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> just, just us. Actually, the last time we were talking off air when you first came in, we saw Captain America together. Yes, we did. And uh, that was because you were at my brother's house and you guys, because we, you still kind of do... We were just finishing up our D&D game yeah. and what the hell, you know, we went to see it and had a good time. Yeah. And I think your brother was drinking. Oh, yeah, he's drinking He's drinking a bit. Shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little worried that I was in front of him. Yeah. No, he made it. And he definitely, it definitely was those times when... I, as the younger brother, the middle child, definitely had to take care of him in a way where it's just kind of like, <laughs> I've definitely been in numerous situations. I don't think he listens to the podcast. Even if he did, he would he would know. Or He'll hopefully... listen to this one. Yeah. I'll reveal secrets of the campaign oh, that he's playing. It, it definitely, yeah. Oh, God. It just like, this is just um, a total slam against him the whole time. We just like, re- <laughs> we, we release everything. Uh, no, I mean, he, 
Like there have been numerous times I've had to help him up. Like one of my favorite stories of um, helping him away from his drunken super. Uh, first time I went to Chicago, Wizard World Chicago in like 1998 oh, yeah. or 99. Yeah. Or I think it was 1999 or 2000. I think it was 2000 was when X-Men came out. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, Wizard uh, World, Con- Wizard used to be a magazine. Yep. Not No longer in publication in the uh, the website is actually... It was the Magic the Gathering magazine. Yes. It? Yeah, it owned Wizards of the Coast. It, owned, it bought Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. Did Inquest yep. magazine and did Toy Fair, which Toy Fair was the impetus for... Um, Twisted Mecco Theater, which was the impetus for Robot Chicken, uh, all the people from that. So, yeah, what happened um, uh, from there, a Wizard has a comical convention they had in Chicago every year. And the first time we went, we were able to go. went with a couple of buddies of mine and my brother. So we went to this party with because uh, Jeff and this other guy, Ryan, befriended one of the guys from Inquest magazine. And uh, we went to like a party with some people throwing, we were getting ready to throw a con in like Atlanta or whatever. And it was great. We're all, and I'm like 17, we're all drinking and having a good time. And he was like 21 or 22, or, yeah, I think it was like 19 or 20. I forget how old he was. But, um, <laughs> Your brother? Yeah, at the time, because he was two years older than me. So, yeah, this is some time right. ago. And um, I remember he, uh, we were just about to go. I was, because, you know, I noticed we're all getting a little hazy or whatever. And I'm like, ah, Jeff's had a few too many, so we're going to go. And I'm like saying my goodbyes to everybody. And as soon as I... I hear, and I turn around, I'm like, ugh. Yeah, just my brother. And I had a camera, so I took a pic. It was a pic of him trying to collect his vomit into, like, the ice <laughs> can of, um, oh my ice bucket of, like, a hotel room. Because it was in a hotel room. Well, that was nice of him. Oh, yeah, it was. he was trying. And then I would get in, the, then, uh, we like, the there was myself and two others, and we got him and dragged him into, because our hotel was across the way. So we had to get in another van to shuttle us to our thing, and he vomited in there. In the shuttle, so I'm like, oh, so I gave the guy ten dollars as a tip, and I'm like, sorry, and we brought him to the bathroom, and <laughs> and that he just fucking, I think he fell asleep in the tub, and then it was just kind of waking up. I remember the guy; it was funny because uh, that was a Saturday night, then the Sunday night on the convention floor, uh, we were walking around, and then the guys from the party go, hey, how you guys doing? He go, Ugh! like do a side like fake vomit noise to my brother, and just like, Ugh. and I didn't, I don't know. but that was one of them. He also had a great vomiting. Experience at your birthday party a couple oh, years God, back. Yeah. <laughs> it was also a party that, harder. Felt kind of bad because like you were like you were you were the guy who had to take care. Oh, of I've always that's everyone been everyone else. Everyone was just kind of like, all right, well, someone's <laughs> See, gonna take care I, of that. I don't blame them. I don't blame it. Like it's like that's your thing, buddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> like I, I did not expect them to be like, oh yeah, we'll do this more. It's like <laughs> he's a guys, big boy. Did you formally congratulate him yet? Oh yeah, for him passing the bar. Yeah. Did you yeah. do that on a previous episode? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I think I think talked about offline it. Or no, it was like the Avengers um, uh, shindig we had. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah we. I, I said hello to him, to that. Yeah. and he, it was that day. Um, he did that, but yeah, no, congrats to him. He, yeah, congrats <laughs> this to story Jeff. I know is, he worked really hard on that. He did, and so. th- that story, the coming off the heels of that story, he's now uh, a lawyer. So. Well, a shyster. A shyster. We yeah. all need to be careful. A penny need, pinch. Oh, we need to be wary. <laughs> yeah. I do plan on getting he's him a trip on any potholes <laughs> in his yard. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, he's a sergeant of law. I'm not getting it. him involved in many frivolous lawsuits is my <laughs> Yeah, defender. you can. Well, that's what we're going to try to do with uh, getting all these companies involved. Like, yeah. oh, Poland Spring. Poland oh, what's that, your new AIDS line? Not a fan. And Poland Spring, <laughs> take now, it down. Now I understand what you're doing. Now that I see the other side of the plan. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's great. Just try, yeah, trying to get <laughs> Poland Spring causes yeah. cancer in small animals and larger ones like <laughs> woolly mammoths. Oh, all right, <laughs> they're genetically engineering woolly mammoths. How many mammoths. times have you guys seen the Avengers? Uh, I've uh, seen it five times. I've seen it three. Oh my so, yeah. God. <laughs> I think Fellowship of the Ring was the last movie I saw five times. Oh, yeah, wow. You know what? That, you might be right. I think Before I that, Muppet sure Treasure that Island. Muppet <laughs> Treasure Island with Tim Curry. I would go daily. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. 350 we, school pass at UMass, and I yeah. just go every day. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I need I to see Muppets. it again, too, because before it's I kind of want to, too. Not to be. Uh, I think I've it'll be around for another month or two. Really? I thought it was great. I mean, you know, the sci fi plot is a typical Avengers alien. Yeah. You know, take over plan, but just the interactions and yeah. just the, the, the Galaga awesome. scene was just yeah. You know, that's all I'll great. say, but in case anybody <laughs> hasn't seen it yet, yeah. Thanos. Yeah, in case you haven't hey, seen it, I yet. thought that was kind of tacked on there. But, oh, yeah. blasphemy! I love <laughs> but it. But so I much. left no. the theater after that, and I did not see them sitting. Oh, at the, the burger, yeah, the shawarma, yeah. yeah. What was it? Yeah, the mem of the um, Aragorn. Like one does not simply walk into Mordor, and just like it's Sean Bean, right? Aragorn, yeah. 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 One does not simply walk into Mordor. 
Yeah, one there's a mem. I'm sure a million seen, internet yeah. memes. About one of that. the great yeah. ones I did see is like one does not simply leave before the end credits of a Marvel movie, <laughs> and it's true. It's true. Uh, Nerd humor. <laughs> I just like Fellowship of the Ring because Gimli was such a badass in that movie. Before I like those because like he was reduced to total comic relief in the later movies. I, I like that was John Reese Davies, wasn't it? Oh god, yeah. it was so good. Yeah, you know, that, that was like Slider's that's thing. like the first real big budget fantasy movie. That's like I loved the first movie. The so music, much. like yeah. it's like it's like a fucking real fantasy I movie. Howard Shore, like, good nerds. music. Oh yeah, Howard Shore. Sure. Like I, that, this is what pisses me off is like. Um, Let's give some props to Conan the Barbarian though. Before that, it's good. Oh, the new one, bad at, the no, new no, no, no. Dude, the new one's and not bad. The old one. Oh. No, I saw the new one. It's and not bad. I can't say it's good, but it was nowhere near as bad yeah, as it's what not everybody bad. said. Everybody's <laughs> always, you know. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I was like, oh, that's well, cool. Was it you and I, or I forget who was trying to talk to me about? Someone asked me, oh, some publication or some. Um, my neighbor, when I was just in their yard, I forget what I was fishing for, truffles or something. He's beating off in the beating, grass. Yeah. I was just trying to fuck their yard. And <laughs> they were asking I'm me, digging for yard fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yard fucker. Uh, besides, you know, get the hell out of here. I it think they were just. There's rabbit hole. There's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> worms in my <laughs> pistol. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pissing. Brother oh. uses for chipmunk burrows. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. But no, just the whole thing. Like, I, for someone did actually ask me, like, what are your feelings on people just kind of... Oh, no, uh, it was a buddy of mine asking me about, like, people who just kind of knock game, uh, certain games or certain movies just for the sake of it. And it's like, well, there's a business I'm shitting on things. There really is. There's, uh, yeah. there's, there's a price. On, there's a business to it. And, um, yeah, the internet has, an, an, like any sort of communication boost, it's enhanced it. But, I mean, you know. I just hate it when I come out of a movie knowing that that stat, you know, the writer and the director think that I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, oh, and a lot it. of blockbuster movies think that, you know? Thus, you get all these, like, you know, expositions at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> expositions. Not just letting us... Well, yeah, figure it out. Figure it out, you know? Or showing us. Like, I know you said you like the Cowboys vs. Aliens movie, but I fucking hated that movie. I, I didn't oh, really? The Alien Chick... I mean, I was just like oh, so yeah, stupid, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I thought I it was. Seen that, I thought it was enjoyable. There was like a. I think they did Don't a good job of meshing like the two I two think, cultures being like two, two, you take like fucking, a Wild West alien movie. Yeah. I think could be done well, but yeah. it just you know. I mean, they already did with me. Wild Wild West, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm just waiting for them to. I was talking to my girlfriend about this the other day. You know, you know how they've had like quirk books and things have been putting out all these like classic novels with like the added element of. I'm waiting for them to do that in movies. I know mm-hmm. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunters. Oh okay, that looks awesome. <laughs> see like you know so ridiculous Pride and Prejudice and Zombies well, no I want to see yeah. films oh, given films. that treatment oh, you know? oh I see yeah yeah like uh, Gone with the Wind like, yeah. uh, on Golden style. Pond and the Kraken you know <laughs> <laughs> things like yeah. that you know just like <laughs> Notting Hill comma Dragon Siege yeah, yeah. And Dude, I, after seeing fucking Stupid Snow White last night all it made me want was like a fucking big budget Lord of the Rings esque fucking Dragonlance movie well you will get one I will never get one I'll never get that that's it, all I would do. If I thinking if I, my think, whole life, that's like if I live to be eighty and I get to see that, I will die happy. You're never gonna believe this, dude, because I, I have a little bit of obsession with buying books. I have like thousand yeah. something books. Um, in your honor, I purchased about twenty seven Dragonlance books the other day for about twenty something bucks. Nice. And I don't like. I've, I've said before, I don't like the original trilogy, but like the Test of the Twins, oh, some of so the later good. things, mm-hmm. and I've got a lot of the newer books that I've never read before. So in your Dude, honor, like War of Souls and stuff. The mm-hmm. sequel, yeah, War of Souls. Uh, anything, anything by yeah. Weiss and Hickman. That's the only ones that are really. Yeah. And I bought a whole bunch of their other books. Really? that I've just never bothered with. I'm not but. really a Weiss and Hickman guy. <laughs> I, don't know, I tried to pull that off. I couldn't. What are you actually going through them? Well, I, I, I've kind of had like a, a little nostalgia trip lately of buying all like really bad like. You know, D and D official novels yeah. for like D- Forgotten Realms and all that other crap. You know? <laughs> like the Drish books and stuff. Star Wars novels and things like. Oh that. yeah, those. Just a soft spot. I mean, I know they're terrible and they're not the bulk some, of my reading, but I just. But some of the fun. art, like cover art, enough is worth to just get it for. Well, some to of be, the stories would know? have been better than the prequels were. You know, if they. Had oh yeah, out. The Shadows of the Empire and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, didn't it's he just? Have, did, isn't there some big news? Didn't George Lucas just officially yeah, like, give Star Wars to Kathleen Kennedy as the creative director? I knew I heard Can't, something about Kathleen him signing Kennedy? off from it. One of, his, one of the Kennedys? I don't, you might no. want to look this one up and, no. and confirm it, but that's pretty huge news. Oh, really? That means there could be future films. Oh, maybe. He's given up, I guess. And I don't oh, know. good. I don't know the exact good. details. So. Oh, yeah. The plug, the Red Letter Media. Have you ever seen the Red Letter Media, like Bill Plunkett? Yes, I the, where the two guys review the movies? Mm, it's the Is guy. That? Red Letter Media guy. Uh, he, yeah, right here. 
He's the weird. Kathleen he, Kennedy is his co-chair and successor. He did what was it? Um, maybe it's Bill Plunkett. Yeah, it's the guy who talks about uh, who jokingly throughout the whole thing um, has like people in his basement tied up or whatever. No, oh, and, <laughs> and a silence fell over the crown. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. I thought, what's that pod, famous video podcast with the two guys drinking a beer, reviewing movies, very oh. laid back. I th- Aren't they on Red Letter Media? Oh, they might be. But it's one of like the sub shows. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole different. It's pretty good. It, yeah. I think it's uh, Bill I Plunkett. Their, their I think. Name, but yeah, with uh, Star Wars reviews, and he goes over for like and like a seven. He sent me some of those. I said, yeah, funny. It's, yeah. he it does a great critique. Yeah. It's not just oh these suck. It's like this is why they <laughs> suck. This is the <laughs> reason. I, th- I mean, I thought the prequels yeah. got better as they went along. Like I clearly, I mean, I miserable. think he did definitely like. Pay attention to the response to them. Though. I think a little like, bit. Of, I also, right. I, I, the third one had. I mean, there were some parts of the second, third one I did really like. Parts. Yeah. The first I'd, one. I'd say part, I think, I, as a filmmaker, parts. Parts. but I think yeah. as also the filmmaker. Not yeah. to say like, a, and this is something I think uh, you and I were talking about the other day when I showed you, like parts of this other thing, other thing I'm working on. I can't mention, but with those. Shows. I, We've uh, talked about that before. Yeah, but I don't want to mention it now. Oh, okay. So respect. Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, about like, oh, but I'm not a filmmaker, so I can't. Like, you can make a judgment. Like, even as a filmmaker and someone who's watching something, it's like, oh, that doesn't look correct. Uh, like, that looks kind of silly. Well, it just feels like, weird because, like, I mean, I know I'm not a filmmaker, but, like, I've seen yeah. a shitload of movies. <laughs> yeah, so but, I mean, like, anything visually doesn't, like, yeah, hold, no, hold you know, hold ice or mustard. Yeah. Um, is one thing. But, yeah, a lot of stuff about the third. I never saw the second one, the second prequel. Uh, it's which, oh, really? fucking terrible. The second yeah. one's the worst one. It's worse than the uh, first one. The third, I disagree. The yeah. first one is by far the worst. Oh, the first, first, first one, second one has some kick-ass stuff in there and near the end. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, finding all mainly signs, like, Christopher Lee being kick-ass. Christopher Lee's fine. It's yeah. so weird to see him in that kind yeah. of way. But like the third one is just like even the beginning one's like, eh, and Palpatine's just gonna like, sit in there like a like a kid, like eh, like they cut, <laughs> but they cut like the weird cuts, like. Yeah. There's just a lot of shitty. Did Did you watch the People versus George Lucas yet? No, I've no, seen that. On that's Netflix. Oh, it looks Netflix. pretty good. Later and watch yeah. it. I watched it the other day, and I thought it was. Almost... I saw a trailer before it, yeah. it came on Netflix. I'm like, oh shit, when is this coming? It's I'm almost as emotionally movie. stirring as the 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 what's the cat the the captains the one that William Shatner oh directed. yes fantastic yeah yeah fantastic oh. documentary um yeah but so yeah. that's kind of big news there about uh, no that is Star who, Wars. I mean, weren't they coming out with a new years, ever since, like, cartoon or whatever? Well, I mean, here's, I mean, who did he have? We talked about this at the JB Garlic Bread episode. Yeah, comically speaking, we did that live, just like how he <laughs> doesn't have, uh, he didn't have anyone to tell him no, yeah, in a way. And the whole fucking, I think they talk about in that documentary quite a lot. Yeah, and that's I think it's what like, they talk about in their review of the Red Letter like, Media. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I, the internet now, you can just yeah. get lambasted, like, constantly with the internet, so it's like. The power is taken away. Yeah. Which is kind of beautiful. Yeah, it really is because like I hope they don't fucking make another Indiana Jones now because of that. Like I hope that's like <laughs> that was see that pissed me off more yeah, than the Star Wars. So ones. bad. Yeah. I mean, it, what I don't know how to pronounce the fucking kid's name. Oh, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess I was actually doing it correctly. Phil yeah. has a notorious yeah. fucking hatred for Shia LaBeouf. This is your first time I listening. Hate it. Right on. <laughs> Fucking hate. No, there's nothing Do not redeeming Tarzan about that. Kid. My childhood dreams, you yeah, asshole. There's nothing redeeming about that little prick. Like, and even in the media, he's seen. Not to say I pay attention too much to the gossip hounds, but I mean, like, he's a badass all of a sudden. This little we, fucking five foot nothing. Well, he turned the like, Transformers films into like some fucking ADD fest, you know? Well, I mean, like, I wouldn't the blame jokes him. Jokes coming so quickly but, there that it's like, ah, oh, you know. Well, it's just like I mean, I wouldn't blame him for the jokes itself, but I blame yeah. him for like people casting him as a vessel. Oh, yeah, this is the fucker who's gonna do it. Like, he's the guy. Like, push that button, push the Shia LaBeouf button, and we're fucking off to space. I have always maintained, there's a scene in that fourth Indiana Jones movie where, he, does he, he, his, he, he's on his motorcycle and he crashes in the library yeah. up to some kid, and he, what does he say to the kid? He's, he's like, he, t- he starts talking to him about his homework or something, he's like, he's oh, like, Dr. Jones, your homework, he just tells him about his homework or something. Well, he says something to the kid that just would have been the perfect setup for that fucking kid in the library. To be the next Indiana Jones. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, he says something like X never marks a spot, or X always marks a spot, or something. I don't like know that. what he says. But guys, it was like, a, it was like guys. a reference to like Last Crusade or something. Spoilers. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, is that a spoiler? I don't know. I don't care. Spoiler. Don't see that movie. <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> spoiler. Fuck you, off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been spoiled, bitches. No, yeah, I don't like, and that was the whole rumor chain. Like, oh, he's the next guy. That uh-huh. should be, but not. But then we knew it was really meant to be Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> hey, and at the end though, like he goes to like put the hat yeah. on, he takes it from him, and I was like, whoa, yeah, I guess meaning he's not I'm going to be in one more. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. I would just hold on to that ad, Harrison, and never <laughs> fucking give it up to yeah. anyone. That would be great if it opened a movie with Shia LaBeouf there and he just gets shot in the face. <laughs> and then you see his <laughs> eye socket just that, kind of like, <laughs> oh, and he's just like yelling. like, And, and by the way, they're both freaking out because it's like an antebellum gun. He just, like <laughs> Civil War gun, he's shot by mistake in his face. He's still like, oh, oh, they're going back and forth, cutting back and forth quickly until he, he <laughs> fucking <laughs> falls. <laughs> And just in that. shock dies. You hate him so much. It's amazing. No, it's... I. And if they also, like, you know, qualify and say that, by the way, the end of that last movie, the natives shot us with blowgun darts <laughs> loaded with LSD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. None yeah. of that actually happened. Yeah. No aliens. Wait, why, is, why isn't he going to find Atlantis? That should be, like, the, the be grand yeah. finale yeah. of yeah. India. Or, like, un- underground civilizations. Yeah. yeah. No, I hear yeah. that. And then I he, didn't mind the alien. Where he, he just drowned. Why am I not the fucking director of those? I mean, yeah. the alien MacGuffin. I didn't to, mind. Yeah. You didn't like it? No. I thought it was okay. I, I just thought you said like, alien waiting for too far for a second. The problem with that was, where do you go next? Uh, okay, enough, we've man. already got aliens. Yeah. We're gonna come down, and now we're gonna well, find you, Hitler's bow tie or something. You've, are, you know I mean? you've already <laughs> done like Hitler, like yeah. you've already done alien ass type of stuff with the first one. And yeah. kind of the third one, really, because it's all like mystical crap that could be. Well, the first was more, relig- more yeah, it was more yeah. That, I mean, I guess they're one. Of, to me, they're one. Of, you know what I mean? They're one of yeah. the same. They're this ethereal force that just kind of yeah, fair comes enough. down. But I want you to try to pitch to me waiting for Guffman with aliens. What? That's <laughs> one, I thought that's what you said. <laughs> oh, no. one, uh, how would you pitch that to me? Waiting for Guffman. Well, have with you aliens? ever seen it? No. Really? Yeah, I don't know. What's Christopher that? Guest. Oh. <laughs> what? Christopher you, are you Guest. You fucking with me right now? No, it's a movie. Christopher Guest. Yeah. Like, or not? He's not a movie, but he, you know, Spinal Tap. Yeah, that dude um, who played Princess fucking Bride. Laverne and Shirley, Bride. right? Princess Bride. Yeah, he was actually. Best, no, that was Michael McKean, I think it was. Or was Christopher Guest in? Who's Laverne Christopher Guest then? Best in Show. Uh, the Six Fingered Man. And oh, okay, Princess I guess Bride. Yeah. But yeah. he was Humper in Day. Spinal Tap. Yeah. yeah. Um, he oh, was not Yeah, yeah, no, no. Six Finger Man. Okay, I so you've it. never seen the Christopher Guest kind of like Best in Show. I saw um, Best in Show. To, no, what's that? Waiting to Waiting for Guffman. Waiting for Guffman. And uh, then there's um oh shit, the Mighty Wind. Mighty Wind was great. Mighty, yeah, and yeah. there's the one for your consideration. I've heard of for you. I've heard of that's the so one Waiting I've heard for Guffman. All right, damn it. So if anyone else could pitch us Waiting for Guffman with aliens, <laughs> uh, please do it. Or just let me try and throw another one at you. Um, let's see. Let's do. Uh, Oh, uh, oh shit! What's the one with um, Tim Robbins and Pena? What's her name? Not Lazard. Oh shit! <laughs> Where he's in a psych ward. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh shit! Going Jacob's Ladder on me. Jacob's right? Ladder. Yeah, yeah, I fucking oh, love that movie oh, so much. Jacob, oh, Jacob's yeah. Ladder. That's a great movie. Um, that was a decent Jacob's movie. Ladder um, in the circus. Pitch it. What's it gonna? Be? What's it gonna be? Pitch it. Oh, then you really. Yeah, I'm really setting you up to fail. Yeah, they really because Jacob Ladder. All right, is a Jacob. Weird Jacob's movie. Ladder. Um, with Caveman. Or no, let's do this. Let's do let's Jurassic. Let's just have Kate Blanchett looking really hot <laughs> with a Russian accent. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nothing else of value whatsoever. Oh, now I do love her. Like, oh, I do, uh, yes, yes, yes. Anything. Yeah. And when really? she was, yeah, yeah, when she was in um, that Scorsese, Scorsese, Scorsese. Mm. You say Scorsese, I say. Please stop touching me. Or continue. No can do. No, no can do. No dice. Um, well, I, she was in the... Uh, oh, shit. With Leonardo DiCaprio. The... Um, Gangs of New York? No. Kate Blanche, she played uh, Hepburn. One of the Hepburns. Really? And, uh, yeah, it was pretty hot. It was like redhead and she had the Hepburn. No. Oh, shit. It was um, Howard Hughes movie. Howard Hughes... Oh, was it Hughes? Is that what it, what it was called? The Martin Scorsese film? Huge ass. <laughs> huge ass. I'm huge no, ass. Oh, yeah, he did play. Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. did play. I didn't see it, though. I don't but know. it's not bad. Uh, John C. Riley's in it, too. But, all right, let's do Howard Hughes uh, biopic with the Tyrannosaurus Rex antagonist. <laughs> or just, let, can you pitch that? That's I can. Oh, my God, what, do you, what can you do? What can you do I'm on this podcast? If, I don't know who Howard Hughes is. Oh, my God, really? All right. Um, Example. Let's... <laughs> Example, pro, con. Um, let's do. Let's get your mind out of crind. <laughs> <laughs> now Earth. that's the language he can understand. I can't. It's always there. All right. So Paul Reiser action flick, uh-huh. but except he is a retired superhero who's looking to find a babysitter so he can get laid by this new superhero chick. Oh God! So he's got to prove himself. A quirky comedy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh god, I can just see that too. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, really paying it for you. He's really? like, yeah, he's like trying to like. He goes to like close the minivan door, but he's angry because like the shit's about to go down, but he can't let his family know. And yeah, like exactly. he goes to like, shut the minivan door and like slid, just rips it off the hinges and it goes into the garage. And whoa. his kids are like, whoa! And he's like, <laughs> well, <laughs> and it's just fucking zany, stupid, mm-hmm. harmless antics ensue. Ugh. All right, let's try the importance of being earnest. At NASCAR. Borg, Borgnine. The importance of being yeah. Ernest Borgnine. Borgnine at NASCAR. Uh, he's just Ernest Borgnine at NASCAR. Just like, hey! <laughs> that, let's Borgnine fuck angry. was in the black hole, and that's really all that matters. Black hole like the movie? Yeah. Dude, black I son? want to watch that so bad. You've I can't find it. No. Black hole? I can't find it. Anthony yeah. Perkins. Ernest it's tough Borgnine. to find. No, no. Wow. Was that 70s? Yeah. Uh, 80s, like 1980s. 80s Disney 80s. film. Very yeah, dark really? science fiction yeah. film, considering oh, wow. the audience that it was intended for. Fucking dynasty. I may have the movie. DVD. It's, it's great. Yeah. Oh, it's classy. Black Love holes sense. with shrubber experts go. <laughs> <laughs> the vacant doing? looks. I'm just, just trying to. I've never seen John so vexed. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just can't fucking, my brain can't process this right oh, now. Oh, it's all right. Or like a shrubbery expert who has to find out a cure for. Malignant tumors on... Played by Rob Schneider. The shrub- Rob, Rob Schneider is the, the fucking shrubbery shrub- expert. Or the carrot. So that's the carrot. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of easy. <laughs> or um, a nuclear bomb gains sentience and goes in the movies. What does it say? And only Carrie Elways can stop him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> by dancing and singing in tights. What happened to that guy? That guy was awesome. Uh, he actually is in the show Sight. Up really? There. Yeah, my okay. wife watches that. Is online. he still like dashing and charming? Very, very uh, much so. Terrible. A little pudgy, yeah. but I mean, he's one like in his forties. One of those guys that always made you hate yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like you say, be be warned, he is chubby, so that might feel. Oh, did he get all puffy? Like I'm getting there myself. So oh yeah, but you probably didn't do a lot. You probably didn't do a lot of coke, so he is expanding even more. <laughs> Not so. nearly enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've aged. Uh, I was complaining to my wife, or jestfully uh, poking at her uh, emotionally that. I've aged so much since I met her. Like, my face visually has aged. Now it's, and she's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and so then another hair fell <laughs> off, my, off my scalp. But, all right, John, so should we go on for another 10 minutes trying to get you to pitch me ideas? No, <laughs> let's, just forego, let's just forego that. <laughs> why? No, why couldn't you? It's just like, There's well, nothing really I'm pitching. It's like trying well, like, to... Well, we're talking the, two different languages. Well, like, seven out of the ten things you threw at me, yeah, I fucking didn't know had who had no you idea. were talking about, so I kind of... Puts a damper on things. Yeah. <laughs> Vladimir Putin and Tiger Lily. Go. <laughs> What's up, Tiger Lily? That's a great yeah. movie. Yeah. That is a great movie. With Vladimir Putin. Sex and dogs. <laughs> nice. Doesn't All he right. say Russian snakes yeah, in the movie? Russian oh, he does, yeah. There you go, yeah. Vladimir Putin. Yeah. There you go. There's the connection. <laughs> no, now, I, I've got, now I've got, you know, now I should Eastern just world uh, against the podcast. <laughs> yeah. And file them for a lawsuit. Or, you know, maybe they'll buy us out. He <laughs> might come over and be like, just flex for us and fight a bear. And then a big gay man is what we're saying. <laughs> and then just go down. <laughs> Sambo. <laughs> Zangief. <laughs> Zangief. I, I, I fight bear. Yes. Or like, what type? No, no, no. Yeah, the gay bar Actually, in Russia. But, oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think Zangief had a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah, he did wear, yeah, he did he did wear a, a whole, Speedo. I think and he, he yeah. fought both sorts of bears. <laughs> yeah. Well, one, he succumbed to a little bit easier. Yeah. But, uh, all right. May I do one last one just for Where my own shit? But you have to. Can you please try to play along? I will. I'm trying. No, I don't think you are. I think you're really letting it die. Some of these are obscure. I don't know. Vladimir Putin I is don't not know obscure. Who that is. Oh my God! Yeah. Read the newspaper. He's only obscure to you, John. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> what about Tasselhoff? I knew who that Tasselhoff is. He's a top knot, and he uses a. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll stop with the. Dra- I hate I'll stop you. with the dragon lance yeah. references. <laughs> um, it's my favorite oh, thing shit. ever. <laughs> How about Tony Danza in a kids movie uh, um, about uh, Ted uh, Kaczynski? Like he's a detective trying to figure out about the Unabomber. But it's a fun <laughs> Disney movie. What? It's like he's just on a weird like Disney, <laughs> a Disney puzzle chase. I don't know. And he also kicks field goals, so we gotta end that. <laughs> I can just like a picture it in my head and it's just fucking absurd. Yeah, Are we talking like salt and pepper Tony or like back in the day Tony when salt he was still like Vera? Uh, I guess you gotta do now. I mean it would be a period piece because it would be like nineties like He's still in pretty good shape, so I think yeah. he, like he you used to be a boxer too, so I think we have to have him boxing in it. Well yeah, yeah, he's gotta like oh that's how I keep shape. He's got kids, so it's like a Disney like kids thing, but he also has to find out who the Unabomber is. So you got that added element, but the Unabomber is also kind of like he think about it, he's like 
they change it to the Unabomber is like a gay waitress. <laughs> or just like... How about well, Michael Ironsides? It's a Unabomber. Oh, my oh, God. Wait, and he plays a gay waitress. There you go. Oh, my or God. Or waiter. Yeah. Wouldn't that, doesn't that add a crazy element to it? Uh, I would love... It. Wouldn't it be insane? Is, that's why I like... Well, how about just Michael Ironsides exploding Tony Tanz's head? I like that. The scanners. I think we... <laughs> yeah. All, scanners with, style. I like seeing people do... That's why I like the Three Stooges movie, I think. Stuff like I want to see, I never get to oh, you see. didn't see it. I saw. Well, it. no, I, I mean, what I guess what I'm getting at is the Three Stooges. Like, if they had the Sean Penn, Jim Carrey, uh, Benicio del Toro, like crazy, like this is insane kind of looking thing. Like, I, that, that seems interesting to me. I, I know what you're and saying. Now, like, now, how did they drop that ball? Did they just want too much money? Or I, I assume that's it. But uh, oh, yeah, I think that I is. Think it it only, I think it got made for like a thirty million. I don't care about budget. Sean yeah. Penn being in it, but at least the other two. Yeah. But uh, I th- doesn't at least he would be Larry and Larry would, Oh yeah, he would, could do it. Yeah. But no, no, I mean, wouldn't doesn't that sound interesting at the least, whether you like him or not? Like yeah. it seemed like something like all right, yeah. I don't really care. Even if you don't yeah. care about the Stooges or like. It was a weird movie because, like, it was, it was. I've never watched something that I just couldn't quite put my finger on, like that movie. Because I watched the whole thing, I laughed. Their imper- their impersonations are fucking dead on. Well, that's all it like, is. They oh, did. It? Will yeah. Sasso's in it, right? Yeah. Because I used to like him on Mad TV. Oh yeah, I like yeah, that too. Like, yeah. It was good to see him get a. He was, dude, he was awesome, is, yeah. and like, yeah. that's true. It, was, it was weird because it's a perfect, it's a perfect representation of what the Stooges were, but but maybe it's it just so didn't turn out that it yeah, it's just so movie. hollow. It's yeah. like. Well, you're, a, you're watching these guys do perfect impersonations, but that's really it. Like, isn't the much. plot more or less a remake of the old episode where they they have to bail the was it the sisterhood out or something? Yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. just a re, yeah. Like a but remake. But Larry David episode. actually plays the the sister who gets but, killed. I think. Yeah, and it's <laughs> awesome because like fun. they split up yeah. like this. Yeah. The movie split up into that's like three acts, and like in between each act, it's like wah 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 wah. And there's like the graphics and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Like how they it was really it's a bizarre fucking. Movie, you need to see it just to see it, like. Yeah. But I just don't think it needs to be. It's like yeah, that's it's exactly like the thing it. Prequel. Yeah, like, or the Alvin and Chipmunk and the Chipmunks movies. You know? Yeah, see those. oh no, it just really. Like, those? I'm plagued forever. I will never. <laughs> I will never again be able to, you know. Wait, did raise you get my pitch? Did you get chipwrecked? Uh, I mean, that's a, I got <laughs> did that. You get did you get it? <laughs> they keep telling everybody it's a state of mind. You can't really. No, you know, it's, it's, but oh, no, also Anne Hathaway as a crippled, uh, psychotic, uh, like. Uh, former can can dancer or something. Oh, I can do this. She just sits there and stares vacantly at a blank wall with her tits out for two hours, and that's it. Yeah, yeah I, I'm her, writing that movie. I'm yeah. the one writing that movie. <laughs> I think <laughs> Anne Hathaway's you buy it or not. real <laughs> test is coming up in a few months. Yeah. yeah. How much will she ruin that movie? <laughs> if she ruins it at all. I like her a lot, but. Did you hear the fucking boast by Christopher Nolan saying it's the most epic movie made since the silent I don't, film era? I won't doubt it. I think that's weird. Because I, the last one... You're just setting yourself up for failure. Well, I have to admit... That, that is a fucking boastful claim. Bold. Why would you listen to something like that? Why would you just... <laughs> right, I'm just going to watch it. How about he just like makes that. it the most epic movie since the last... <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah let's, I'll be happy with epic that. movie well, I've ever made. <laughs> Michael J. White. You remember uh, Spawn? Yeah. Yeah. And... Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite. For those of you who haven't seen it, see Black Dynamite if you haven't seen it. It's amazing. It's on yeah, Netflix he's still doing too. films like Blood and Bone and stuff on, yes. also on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. He, um, uh, this was a year ago, but I was reading quotes someone put up today. Like, give me the money or give me uh, the control to do a Black Panther movie and I'll make Batman look like... Uh, Look great! Uh, look like nothing. I think Black Panther is such a great character. I do. <laughs> what? No, really? I, I don't know, man. I think he's an awesome. With you on that. Oh, come on, Wakanda! It's such an awesome. Like, it's... that's true. If he goes into the whole Wakanda, oh, I think why wouldn't why Black wouldn't Black he? And why wouldn't yeah. if you watch Black Diamond, you will just like total like black exploitation beauty, like, and it's. But we are talking about fucking Batman. I mean, hey, Bat- I don't think Black Panther will ever compare it to Batman. I don't know. Black Panther is pretty awesome. I I don't know. I like Batman too. I think he's great. But I also think Black Panther has a lot. I, there's so much more. Like, take the awesomeness of Batman's like Ra's al Ghul connection. Oh yeah. And you already have that with Black Panther because yeah. you already have a legion of people who have protected this site, which is like. Uh, it's controlled by this organization or this tribe that won't let the other outer world touch it, and right. they have their they are the gatekeepers, and that's what like is the what do they protect? Like, is it like look a, a vibranium, vi- Wakanda, the land, oh. like in what? Well, I like the idea of even like a quasi African fantasy kind of thing. Like, yeah, like we don't see that ever. No, and that's you know? like you got to and as like as a superhero movie. Yeah, like that, and that's like the whole thing too. Like hand, you talk about the Batman hand to hand combat stuff. Like that, that's what Black Panther. Oh, it yeah. eats shit and breathes, you know? That's, I mean, 
I, that would be great. And it's just like I don't know enough about Black Panther to really disagree with you. Yeah. So I'm, I think I, I see in your same. eye your interest because yeah. it is a great and even well. Then I started watching the Avengers. Yeah, cartoon so you series. know a little bit about. Yeah, like, I was yeah. just say it was it was all right. It was kind of cool. <laughs> like it was kind of weird. You just like, don't like black people. I get it. Yeah, they're dark. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> No, Emotionally, like, that show's kind of no. weird. The Avengers cartoon, it's kind of oh, really, yeah. It's it's not bad, but we're like, gonna have to see how Arrow does. Did oh, that, did yeah. that start Jesus, yet? That show? No, the CW, the CW. Yeah, fuck Green Arrow. The CW is just not a great place for it. You know? It's also a her- uh, horrible, horrible name for it. Uh, uh, CW, just they can, or they CW. Can run, they can run it after the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> 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 the menstrual cycle. All right. How are you shitting on Tassel Hoff Burfoot? By the I'm way, not shitting on him. Okay, I like him. Revisiting Krenn a little bit? No, I told you. I bought right. all the books. And, and yeah, you don't to I remember the characters. So what is it? What is this Tassel Hoff? He's a, He's a candor. Candor. He's They a don't candor. feel fear. It's pretty awesome. They're basically kleptomaniac halflings. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They're adorable. Their culture is a culture of kleptomania. Yeah, but they, they don't they realize they they're doing it. They thrive off stealing things, but they don't do it with ill intentions. So it's yeah. like a lock from Final Fantasy VI. Or hey, the other way around. Kind of, well, or the other way around. Yes. I hear everything right. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. Just kind of like, uh, I was talking to Colleen, um, the, I was going to say the McGarnacle, but no, she's Colleen Carney O'Brien. Someone here? Or what's the, <laughs> no, she's behind you. Uh, about Sam Keith on Facebook. And another buddy of mine was like, some time ago, was like, oh, Bill Sankiewicz was pretty much Sam Keith. Like, Sam Keith came out of kind of Bill Sankiewicz. And I went, in a way, I don't know if you're familiar with the art of Bill Sankiewicz. I think I'm mm. pronouncing it correctly. My list was helping it out. So. Sounds familiar we'll to me. It's pretty good. His um, his stuff is pretty awesome. But Sam Keith is too. I enjoy him. Look him up, guys. Out there in <laughs> oh, podcast dude. land. Yes, but Black Panther. Oh, you owe me. I kind of gave you one. It, it was cheap. It wasn't. I wasn't satisfied with the Aunt Anne Hathaway one. I no. That's that's it. No, that's there's it. one no, more. That's there's it. one more. Okay. Um. Oh, well, the Paul Reiser one. You kind of did something with. Why yeah. you just have no like you are not a Johnny on the spot guy that you wanna no, be. I've, it's in you my to- head. Yeah. You totally don't wanna like what is your conversational aversion to this? Oh, I don't know. I just, it seems <laughs> Look at you all. I just feel like we're tense. not I feel like we're not us- utilizing our guest at this spot, putting oh, me on the right. spot. Oh, okay, no. fair enough. I think he's having a fun time just watching <laughs> it's it right. It's, it's, yeah. it's fun to finally uh, talk on a podcast and not be listening to it. Yeah. Hmm. Well I will give one I guess I'll give one to Scott, but I don't want to offend him. Because I don't want to offend his sensibility. I don't even know what the hell he's doing. So. <laughs> All right, that's part of my that's part of my. Just, I want right you now. to make a pitch. Is what I'm okay. saying to right. me. Oh, like I give you pitch. I give you something and you come back at me with something. Like here's part of the pitch. It's like you know just like the whole um, the importance of being earnest on a NASCAR track, or you know with a carnosaur or carnosaur. Uh, with a deadly illness, and the female carnosaur has to get the uh, the cure within 10, 15 hours. I think Corman already. I would just did. yeah, I would did yeah. I was just gonna say no, I would just did. watch the carnosaur box set. And <laughs> what? Oh, was there a wait, wait, wait? There's a box. Stop set? the press. There's like six carnosaur there's movies. More than one yeah, there's like six yeah. of them. No, I, <laughs> all right. That is what you need to have at one of your weekend get-togethers. Oh uh, no, like, clearly. That's not, I will happily watch hand puppets. Of I watched. Dude, me and my buddy Matt watched all the Sleepaway Camp movies like in a row. How many are there? There's like five. Oh yeah, that's right. There's like one. They're not even sleepover camps. They just have sleepovers, right? Is that the one with the original one? Is no, the original one from the seventies or something? Yeah, I think so. That's a good one. The that first one's not bad. One. Yeah. But they're kind of like, they're kind of like, they progressively get worse and worse and fucking more like Jamie, less racy. Jamie Curtis one. was in the first one. No. no. Who was in the first Nobody. one? Nobody. They're, they're the kind of like The almost, first one had a right. kind of surprise twist in yeah. there, if I yeah, recall yeah, yeah. it properly. Yeah. All right. How about. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Everyone yeah, needs no, to go see Sleepy Camp. Everyone needs to see Sleepy She has a penis. Sleepy Camp. Oh, there you go. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Well, I thought we were talking about Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, she oh, has great she tits. Does she does have a penis. She has great tits. That's my contribution <laughs> to this show, is just talking about famous actors. Well, how about... Uh, right. That's all right. <laughs> well, have you ever... Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis stars in a, a gymnast movie about uh, Edgar Winter's condition. Who's Edgar Winter? See, like, this is... <laughs> like, I'll get half of what you're saying, and then there's like, the rest of the You know who Edgar Winter is? He, he's, too, he's too far ahead of us, I think. Yeah. You know who Edgar Winter is? Sounds familiar. Hey, he's a... Oh, damn it. Yeah, a smart kid. Smart not smart kid. So it's not like kid. I know Edgar Winter doesn't bump up my intelligence <laughs> by ten points. He's uh oh yeah. Shit, how can I describe him? You uh, look him up. You got the inner web. That's too hard. Kids, now I'm really coming up with shitty ones too. Examples. We'll learn something. 
Your not, your shooting ass isn't inhabiting my shooting ass. Now we're <laughs> we both cross infected pollinate. each other. Yeah. <laughs> the, the other day I learned that narwhals, the horn, it's is a, actually a it's tusk. It's not a horn. Yeah. It's a tusk. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's that, useless. But that's, an, but that's an internet like uh, fascination, the narwhal. Uh, like definitely is centered around like, oh, look at these well, We guys. got into this discussion about uh, my girlfriend and her friend uh, were having a discussion I overheard where they were saying that they do believe in mermaids and it's a government cover more up of fucking mermaids <laughs> and all this bullshit. And I guess on Animal Planet, did they sorry. air like an hour long special about the evidence of mermaids? <laughs> what? Like they showed some like... Absence of evidence. Not evidence makeup. Of evidence hand sticking out of a whale's gut and they said it was like evidence of mermaids Is existing or something. The mermaid epi- awesome. epidemic. I seriously fucking doubt it. Well, isn't, I well, fucking doubt it. I buy no it. Ness- yeah. Just watch Penn and Teller's bullshit. Oh, I that love will, that show. That will clear your mind of all these... It's a good introduction this, yeah. to scientific research. It's it's excellent. I mean, well, especially the cryptozoology Oh, the crypto... Is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, the War on Drugs one is one of my favorites. I haven't seen that one yet. They come out of their shell because, you know, they talk about the hippie bash and it's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. And they're like, well, we'll give one to the hippies. And I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> uh, but no, one of the things, too, with what's so wrong with the mermaid being like just a drunk fisherman seeing a <laughs> sea manatee? That's what it was. Like, or a no, seal. No, exactly. Yeah, or exactly. A seal. What's or, so wrong? Or a dolphin. But it's so yeah. romantic and weird because they're yeah. lost at sea and they just want to fuck anything. And <laughs> exactly. also, they, no, I mean, and they don't know what they see. Yeah. And that's why, like, all um, sea monsters just like, because who knows, like, large, r- weird whales or even, like, creatures that maybe have gone down ever since because of our high traffic of the seas. I mean, I mean, there's a whole bunch of cool, weird stuff that, I mean, the ocean is pretty fucking scary. The ocean's scary. another fucking planet. It, yeah, it really is. I mean, I'm a dungeon master for life. No one would like that stuff to be more real than, than I would. But yeah. no, fuck no. Right. Fuck no. Yeah. No Loch Ness Monster. No <laughs> Abominable Snowman. No I don't know, dude. The Loch Ness Monster, I'm kind of... Really no, weird. it's not. It's <laughs> completely... Phys- it's it's yeah. impossible. Well, have you looked creature- at the Congo? The Congo is a fucking creepy well, okay, place. I'm not going to deny the fact that there could be like Meke an Elasmosaurus or something, or something yeah. still alive on the sea. But, but that's all. It's, it's not a monster. It's just no, it's, an animal. Yeah. Well, that's well, that's the thing. It's a crocodile. Yeah, exactly. Like a giant... Actually, they found a crazy giant crocodile. Oh, yeah. Well, crocodiles are Oh, they are. Yeah. No, you're right. Dinosaurs. Well, yeah. just like sharks have been around for millions oh, of years. Yeah, they, they just got smaller. Like yeah. crocodiles used to be like a hundred feet long. Yeah. It's like imagine a hundred foot fucking crocodile. Like, yeah. some, what was that show? Dude, hundred feet. On? That's fucking ridiculous. Remember that amazing? Oh, <laughs> well, there is a long, crazy one in, in Africa. They found. Was it like, like thirty feet ago. though? Oh, that was ama- than what was that amazing yeah. show they had on an Animal Planet where they had like the like they go to like the Cretaceous, so they go to different periods and they like, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 all these giant ass like. Monster, I remember that. You know, reptiles. And yeah, good stuff. But what was it? it you, uh, go back to the sharks for a second, just for the emphasis on how long they've been around. They can now, I think we talked about it on the podcast a little bit, but they can manipulate and or paralyze fish with a brain wave. <laughs> Really? Yeah, yes. uh, isn't that nuts? Like that's evolution, baby. That's pretty. Yeah. Awesome. It reminds me of all those motivational posters people used to make and post on the internet, like what? aquatic tigers. <laughs> and then it just is like, yeah, you're pretty much fucked. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a white tiger diving yeah. into a pool. It's like, yeah. yeah, you're fucked. We talk about like the uh, the shark night, like what happens when, oh, yeah. like a Peter Benchley novel when you just oh, get. Sorry, I need to see that. Thank you for reminding uh, me about that movie. It's legs and what, shark else. night. It's, I would imagine it's not to be good. a piece of shit. Like, all right, but it's, is it, but deep blue sea. Is deep blue sea or worse? You will see bikinis. You will well, see various like, species of shark. Are we talking but like worse than deep blue sea or same same on par with deep blue sea? Deep Blue Sea is entertaining. Deep Blue crap. Sea is far more interesting. Okay. But that took itself more seriously, I yeah. think. And that's what I think goes against it a little bit. I, th- I would like to think Shark For Deep Blue just, Sea? Yeah. yeah. I thought Deep Blue Sea is like, it's a good, it's, it's, it's like next to Jaws, it's the only it's really good, good shark it's, movie. I think, I think it's a good cable shark movie. Yeah. But why would you increase the fucking brain size? Oh, of that would be the worst idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. make a shark smarter. Why yeah. No. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, killing next, <laughs> next we'll give Mindless them rhinoceros mounts and just trample and eat everything inside. yeah exactly <laughs> or we'll give them opposable thumbs to fire a gun <laughs> and just like we just grafted it on um, no but uh, cryptozoology is awesome and fun because it it's, just like you so I know what you're talking fun, about refresh my memory so I can I'm too the conversation. Skeptical yeah the concept I know what it's it is just, but I don't like remember. Bigfoot Loch Ness Monster right, but it's like such that. bullshit right. when, any, when anyone with oh, any think, reasonable I think there's a racket involved yeah. in it but I also oh, yeah. think there are other weird, weirdness to it but go on I'm sorry no I'm just saying like every time anytime you break down the evidence it's just yeah. ridiculous to think sure. that there could be a Loch Ness Monster how does it exist how does it mate there can't just be one of them there have to be multiple and you would have to you know that was what they were saying on the tellers but actually how but how how old do these uh, beings get to be if we 
I mean, if they had been doing it over time and they're at this place right now. But that is a good point. Exactly. You don't just have two if, of a species. No. If there were mermaids, a civilization of them. And I think, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't watch the documentary on Animal Planet yet, but <laughs> I think they, I, if I'm not Mer-man. mistaken, somebody was saying something about they, they were driving the whales to kill themselves on the beach by sending like weird sonar signals to them in their language or something like that. Why would they do that? Well, that is weird. Why that would you fucking do that if you were a mermaid? That is weird that whales Mer-folk do that though. Also. Like, Mer- that is a weird thing. I guess that's the correct is that, Mer-folk? Mer-folk? That, sounds like, that sounds like a main like Mer-folk. Mer-folk. Yes. around here I got your merfolk down okay. over there. What about sea elves do? Maybe what about sea tritons? Elves. Tritons? <laughs> fucking tritons, man. <laughs> yes. Atlanteans? Come on. Yeah. Or Atlantis. I'm down with yeah. it. I'll roll D20s all day against sea monsters or whatever. Hell yeah. That's right. Well, we I don't have a sea leg of the campaign planned Dude, out. Dude, you should yet. have a sea campaign. I do have another cool leg of the campaign planned out. Though. I did Nerd a sea shit. campaign. I didn't play it. What was you it? You were in the jungle one. That was when we first started. Back that was in like illustrious, 1995. Right? Did you ever play six. Credence while you're doing Run into the jungle. No, <laughs> just no. I did make soundtracks for years. Though. Dude, we used to yeah. listen to fucking Mortis. <laughs> oh my god, Dungeon Synth. That kind of that's like one of the greatest musical genres. That's awesome. If I ever start my Underdark Radio podcast, <laughs> I'll just play Dungeon Synth in the background the entire time. That's... People are talking. <laughs> Why I don't you do that? Reverb on all the Please time. do that. Yeah. <laughs> that's I know. Awesome. I keep leaning back and bad. No, it's right. Well, it is natural because it's not really natural to be like. I'm Hunched talking. over a microphone. <laughs> yeah. You need like a cup of coffee or like something. Like a common troll. <laughs> or just something to have me prompt up. <laughs> a level yeah. what? 25. Yes. I have no idea. That's D&D culture. Yeah. I know the basic I know. You're, you never, you never, it never sunk its hooks into you. No, I never latched on. You never came over to the dark side. No. Oh, I mean, I guess D&D? I could. Yeah. Uh, other people... Dude. Well, it's we fun. should really—we haven't really gotten into that very much. At all. Have we talked about Scott Waldy and D and D yet? Well, we we have we. I mean, we've got like I mean, the we know this is everyone out there. Yeah, away. I mean, I think we scraped the surface yeah. of it. I mean, I think I think Scott actually has some great instinct about it. Like, I think we don't want to really. I don't mind talking about it if yeah. you want to talk about it, but it's just you know. I feel like it's such Go an interesting it. like subject that no one really knows about. Like, and how fucking like the. Is there a the reason? The perception John? of what people think it is and like what it really is. Well, it's just it's just a fact. I mean, I've been playing for like. 30 years now since I was a little kid and you know they used to have Modelers Junction in downtown Methuen and you know I went down there you know saved Where up my allowance that? pennies and bought my first monster manual oh wow <laughs> like we uh, talking first edition oh yeah fuck nice. it no first edition of AD&D hell yeah <laughs> but um I think one of the things I've noticed is that pretty much anyone that's ever sat there and watched a D&D game likes it yeah. you know it's just that it has this taboo about it that you know people just don't want to bother. Game. They just they're afraid of it, you know. It's like, you could play a Christian D and D game if you really wanted to. Oh, weird. You could have a, a killing with no killing. No. You know? I would like a all porno. You could do D&D. a porn. Do that Believe me, when I was young, that's what, <laughs> you know, there were many attempts to whisk away the barmaids at every uh, at every stop. <laughs> you know, to the last game we just played. Oh, just mean live. Yeah, live we, we steered away playing. from that. But you know what, though, you guys pervert every fucking <laughs> landmark and character I put in the game anyway. Yeah, you and your your brother plays in the same yes. game as I do, so it's like, oh, I'm sure. Your your brother and I just make everything gay. <laughs> and yeah. Jude as well. Jude, yeah. you know, yeah. Everybody's yeah. throwing out all the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No Dil- landmark is safe. Dildo <laughs> Mountain. Let's it's, go. It's that bad. He had like a, I yeah, he had like a place in the game called the Foggy Gorge. Oh, so God. of course it became uh, what? What would you guess it became? Oh, I'm, I don't think I the need that. Faggy to. Gorge, and the, obviously. And the oh my bridge God. over it was called the Fog Span. I'm glad, yeah, I'm, I'm glad how you uh, estimate that no one has imagination to insert Faggy. Oh, I don't take any, Yeah, come on. Let's look at the age we live in. I would never have thought to uh, that. Uh, 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 a vowel for a vowel? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> It's fun. Yeah. More people yeah. should play it. I think That's I will. I, I will say. say that like the it is kind of a high school thing when just like because I'm clinging to everything I have anyways because I just don't want to get yeah. lumped in and or I want to try to have sex at one point and it just wasn't <laughs> didn't happen anyways. But I haven't found it to be a hindrance for having sex. Uh, I'm well, back to having I, a you dry have, spell. You have more. <laughs> you obviously have more charisma than I did at that point. But I was. Um, That's at least a fourteen. No, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I was funny, but it also was. I was also yeah, like kind of a. Um, that dude, but um, yeah, and I'm like, oh, of course. Then my buddy used to be like, "Hey, dude, did you read that comic? Like, what are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean?" If there are people around, I'm like, "Okay, what are we talking about?" Man? I met one of my good friends, um, my friend Andy. I met him like when I moved to New Hampshire. Again, we had like Andy. a high, uh, a class. We had like we shared like an English class in high school, and like for some reason, like he fucking said something to me. Like I had like some sort of I was talking about like Emperor or some fucking metal band. <laughs> Hell yes. Yeah, and like he was just like. Uh, 
And we're talking about metal, and I was like, so you play D&D? And he just immediately... Why is it that they could... Yeah, I Right, know. it's just like an immediate correlation between the two. And, like, he just kind of stopped and looked at me and was just kind of like, what, no, what, fag? And then, like, <laughs> then, like a week later, we're playing D&D together. Yeah. But, like, there was a girl next to <laughs> well, him, so like, didn't want to like, talk about like, it. Like, black metal definitely has a kind of fantasy. No, it oh, does. Like, it does. Like, no. Oh, to of course. It. Yeah. Some other metal doesn't, but... Yeah. Definitely, black no, metal. but that, uh, de- but that, what well, you illustrated exactly the point. Like, yeah. Pete, there's such a fear. Like, and then they yeah. look. But, but guys, Vin Diesel plays D and D. Oh, does he? He's a champion of Dungeons and Dragons. I think that's pretty. That's awesome. where he learned to act, <laughs> or didn't <laughs> learn to <laughs> act. He learned to that's react. Okay. As long as he has those biceps and those, you know, <laughs> those goggles on, <laughs> I will uh, return to the yeah. Riddick well. Yeah, dude, Chronicles Riddick was amazing. Yeah, the right? Director's cut. Fucking yeah, that's awesome. awesome. Hell yeah. It's a good movie. I was sad when And they, the fucking yeah. effects still hold up. That's a I, great movie. I love it. You know? And the new one's being rated R. He put like all his a money into it. Like, rated R. for me, that's fucking insulting. <laughs> I love that. Pitch Black's it's awesome, that. too. Yeah. yeah. Pitch Black is pretty good. Yeah. Those both I, good um, movies. It was one of the best I'm looking forward to the new one. He's aliens got, ever, you know? Yeah. He's made like a pretty... It's a, he's making... He makes pretty... Decent action I, movies. Sometimes. I, Would you say I, it's I pretty? I do not like racing movies, but some of the stunts in that last <laughs> fast. What was it called? Too fast. Faster. Is that the last like, one? There's fucking a billion. It's of more them. furious fast than faster. Fast five. Well, that's the, why. The oh, fast one. five was a new one. That's yeah. what there I were call... some things in that movie that yeah. were just jaw droppingly ridiculous, uh, and it was entertaining just to watch that because at yeah. least they're trying to fucking. My first entry into the series was the fourth one with Michelle yeah. Rodriguez, and I, I was just kind of like, I watched it, and I was like, after the end of it, I was like, that wasn't bad. I hate myself for saying this, but it wasn't bad. Wasn't it weird that they took that phrase that we always say? Like, I mean, it's been a culture for a while. It's like pulling a fast five on us, and then it's weird they made a movie. <laughs> about it yeah nothing all right sorry right. <laughs> <laughs> i can't be sarcastic about anything good all right good thanks podcast just went over pull the fast man. five on me right there you just pull the fast five on us <laughs> you're just too clever in your chair over that's there. like a quick 10 <laughs> over this end well that's the end of that yep. totally pulled the rug under that one fast five in it oh shit go back to the book the epilogue no no no, 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 no. Riser, no ready no. Uh, new one Let's do a dueling. Why don't you read it dramatically? Oh, oh yeah, go for it. A dramatic reading. I just cleaned out my address book. My wife pointed out I had names in there that I haven't called since third grade. People who've moved off the continent, couples who have divorced, some remarried, and a few names that, frankly, I don't even know who they are. Start choking up. Like, do do the last line and just be like, (laughs) I don't even know. Wait, let me, all right, you read it and I'll read it. There was one entry that just said, Rusty, and next to it, call after five. For the life of me, I have no idea what this means. All right, what was that? Which, it was the beginning? All <laughs> riser, shitstorm. I just cleaned out my Andrews book. It's a great name for a hardcore band. <laughs> my wife. Jan, shitstorm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Paul, Paul Reiser, riser, shitstorm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this should be your next project. <sighs> Listen, look. They, they got me to do that with the raccoons. Just make it all yeah. like, dude, that was amazing. That was one of my favorite projects here. I love that. What was it called? Um, I officially have nothing to do with it. What was it Ooh. called, though? I forget. What? The Raccoon Black Metal Band. I'm only speaking for them. Raccoon. Oh, that's right. It was called the Raccoon. That's right. I forgot they were like actual evil raccoons. Yeah, they. it's not me. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really good, though. <laughs> it was pretty it awesome. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I assumed you weren't listening anymore. Oh, so sorry. I went up in my own little world, and I read, Whoosh. and I read, and I absorbed. Please. <laughs> Regale us with tales of Paul Reiser. May I? I insist. As a true actor! I implore you. That is what we're talking about. <laughs> what a <clears throat> thespian. <clears throat> Give it your Max von Sydow. <laughs> yes, my Max von Sydow. Give it your Max Hardcore. I just cleaned out, um, just cleaned out my address book. <laughs> My wife pointed out I had names in there. Haven't called since third grade. People who've moved up the continent. Couples who have divorced. <laughs> Some are married. A few names that, frankly, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> There's one entry that just said, Rusty. And next to it, call after five. <laughs> Any way you fucking read For the life of me, <laughs> I have no idea what this this call after five means certain letters in every address book fill up right away you know m and s for example very unpopular He's very popular there's no room can't get anyone new in there and there's a wasting list of three or four years or waiting list i'm sorry if i met someone 
whose name begins with M or an S, I tell them right up front that we can't be friends. I just don't have the room. You could never be friends with Paul Reiser. There you go. That's all right. It's disheartening. And to finish it up, I will say that whereas X and Q, or X, Q, and Z, I can move you in today. I got time. And I got space. I got nothing but space. And I'm, and I'm dying. Wait your turn. And I'm dying to use those pages. My dream is to meet the xylophone family and fill that section right up. What? Damn. Hell yes. That's how you read it. What the fuck? Nothing. Who greenlit that, that shit? <laughs> right. It's a fucking bestseller. New Let York Times. Let me see Number one Listen, New York Times bestseller. You just Phantom eat. Books. Didn't they put out the Choose Your Adventure series? Probably. And you, you chose adventure? you chose your adventure right there, oh buddy. Oh, my God. And I guess what? Hey, pay attention. Because this act off <laughs> is going down... <laughs> Don't go on crazy street. I want your readership to up. I want you bumping it up. I, maybe it's Bump just because game. like I'm looking for the delivery. I'm I'm looking for the actual delivery and the tone that it's supposed to be read in. I, think I just can't. It's out of relate. context. But try to add it like well, I don't know. Like watch him, and then we're obviously doing nothing of the sort of giving it the voice that it yeah. de- that it deserves. Like we're not. We're not. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, if we want to strip ourselves of all the bullshit, we're probably the only people giving it a voice. <laughs> <laughs> the only people for the past decade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I just need the rest of the series. <laughs> well, when you put them all together, they create it like a Mad Magazine folded. <laughs> it's just, just a picture of yeah. his cock and balls. <laughs> yeah. With tattoo of Helen Hunt on the side of the mouth is the urethra. Paul Reiser, <laughs> the life of Lambert. <laughs> Another alien prequel to follow Prometheus. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I heard that they're like trying to make that a trilogy, like the new movie's a trilogy. What, Mad About You? Mad About You. That would be getting yeah. wary. Let's, I just hope the first one's good. Yeah. And I'll find out in two days. Yeah. I wonder if Pepsi sponsored <laughs> Yeah, it's one of my new new dream. We asked me if like you just too bad I've been off out. soda for about five years. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that would be good. they're just implanting stuff in me. Yeah, they're just right there. Like, like you guys I know are doing for it. like <laughs> nano technology is inside Pepsi. Yeah, the Google Glass. That's why just... you're dreaming of it. Dream <laughs> advertisement. Yeah, fucking trademark. Futurama. That, that, that wasn't a movie. Fucking spot on. Minority Report. Yeah. Yeah. And then here. Yeah, then silence. <laughs> <I guess laughs> yeah. Drink the product. And nothing. And at night, you dream of Pepsi. Think about that. Oh, I did. I created a sleep for Pepsi. I, we just yeah. created an ad through my head. Yeah. So thanks, everybody, in collective marketing world. <laughs> I told my buddy this uh, this morning about it. She's like, that's fucking insane. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. What do you... And after it, like, she got done with the set. And I was like, so how you doing? I was kind of being nice about it, like, also freaked out. Like, why the fuck were you singing with Bill Hader, <laughs> like, in the middle of my in my movie? And it just, no one went anywhere else. We're like, uh... And there are balloons that came down and all Pepsi. It was weird. That is weird. Maybe but, you, someone really is pointing a rig on it. You're fucking... No, it's, <laughs> it's a fucking Coors Light commercials Dude, that are all just my so dreams lately, I've been having, like, these weird, epic fucking battle dreams lately, <laughs> like, where I'm, like, fucking That's crushing... What are we doing? That's yeah. the real evil of Dungeons <laughs> and Dragons. <laughs> it makes you fucking have delusions of grandeur. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I've been having these crazy, epic dreams where I'm just fucking slaughtering bad guys left and right. It's pretty awesome. I wake up every morning, like, ready to kickstart my day, and then it's You're like, oh, Tom yeah. uh, I think you've just been pl- yeah. playing Diablo 3, honestly. Yeah. That's probably way too much, yeah. Yeah, it's an Arkham Asylum I did finish. I know uh, you mentioned at the top of the hour. Did you pick up the expansion yet? I haven't no. played the second game yet, but I... Oh, yeah, dude, I Arkham City. So good. Arkham, yeah, it's Arkham... Oh, I, I meant Arkham City, yeah, I played. I played Arkham so Asylum, I, I like a lot. Arkham City, I like too, but it's too short for me in a way. I, but like, I remember, I really remember being missions. like thirty hours if you put like. Your yeah, all you can. It. You can do it with any game. I'm yeah. convinced. But it's like, it's, it's with the main you know, one. It's, it's pretty easy to figure out the controls. It's you know huh? intuitive. It's a it's perfect fun. game. Yeah. And Killer Croc kicks ass. Yes. in The first game yeah. scared the shit out of yeah. me. He's not in the second uh, one though. He's in it, but no. you don't. I guess him. it was like a yeah. You don't. I was hoping somebody like him would sneak into the new Batman movie. Like, there's another villain they haven't told us about. You know, because it seems like Bane is just not enough to fill like. I hate what they do with his voice. There's like, like the first trailer, his voice is completely different than it is in the new trailers. I saw a couple scenes of him though, and it looked, it looked good. You know, I don't know. We'll have to see. It's weird because I don't. It's so weird that like I just assume that movie's gonna be good. Like I could give a, yeah, I don't give a fuck about it because I just assume it's gonna be good. I just love those movies because I walk out of the theater and I don't feel like I've just been made to be an idiot. Uh, You know, they, they. Christopher Nolan doesn't think I'm stupid. No. Yeah. Well, know? he wants to make something that he thinks is worth worth the damn. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the like whole him. point. I've liked just about every movie I've seen from him. No. Uh, even what was I the one with following. Al Pacino in it? Insomnia was, isn't bad. I liked no. it. Robin Williams. And oh, Williams. I remember not liking that. Who's the one with Robin Williams? Oh, I'm thinking of One Hour Photo. No, I, that you don't don't like that. I don't think that's not Insomnia. Oh, you? No, that's another. If you want to see a good movie with Robin Williams as a as a villain, 
and you should watch. Oh, I haven't seen that. Final Cut's supposed to be pretty too. good. Hmm. Wow. Well, what were you with that him as the villain? I was just saying Insomni. Oh, Insomni, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to see the new Bobcat Gold Toy. Um, take a look at, oh, fall, um, yeah, I heard I God Bless it. America. Yeah. I heard that that was actually good. Yeah, I heard that too. That's on Netflix? No, it isn't. I don't know. I'll no, check it tonight. So. But it's it in theaters actually right now, I think. I have a look In Boston. But what was the, um, oh, Scheiser, the other one with um, Robin Williams, one of uh, the most underrated Robin Williams movies. Death to Smooch. Yes, mm-hmm. I fucking love Death. It to was Smoochie. pretty interesting. I, th- I just thought it was like a really fun idea for a movie. I Edward Norton was in that movie. too. Yeah, yeah, he was. was. Danny DeVito, comedy. John C. Yeah. yeah, Catherine Keener. Yeah, I fucking was, love that movie. That's a um, brilliant comedy. Yeah, that is interesting. It's an interesting movie. I think it was directed by Danny. Even DeVito. before I saw it, yeah. I just said, "Oh, the idea is just so funny." You know? Yeah, no, and I think that's why I like post it to you. Certain. Let's give me Waiting for Government with uh, Turner and Hooch. Combine them. I still don't know what this Turner government and Hooch, is. Turner and Hooch with um, radioactive cops. Radioactive just try <laughs> just radioactive. No, really, instead you can't like, go anywhere. No, instead just of eating go crazy them. with it. Just go. Like instead All right, never mind. How's your family, John? Mm. We're gonna keep this going. Jesus, like, <laughs> it's like fucking a corpse. At least the corpse gives you something warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh I'm not gonna play. Your I games. hope you. I hope I'm not you, gonna play your I games. I hope you get bukkakeed in an alleyway on the way home. You Me just too. find a cookie, and you find, <laughs> which we already made that mistake. A bukkake cookie and bukkake. It's gonna be Paul Reiser bukkakees. You've got to play my game though. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Seriously, uh, one you should like in a DM like this challenge and like as the DM you should pu- give to him. Give me these two movies in the human world and put them together and pitch them to me as a wizard <laughs> and see what. See what he does and see him just freeze. Well, now he's a gnome. Yeah. Yes, dude, it's awesome. I fucking Roll a it. nine. You most, can make it Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Roll to swing from the trees like the apes. Nah. Of your. I fucking yes. love D&D. We don't play. I don't, we don't get to play it enough. That's all I would do <laughs> if I could. True. If I was well, super hey. rich, that's probably. I would pay you to like be my DM like every that, day. I've been told that before. And, you know, I wouldn't mind that. That would be a, a wonderful career for me. I just I wake up and like. Because I'm way too anal retentive about my games like in designing them. Yeah. Developing them and everything, but uh, you know, we have members who we have players who have families and you know don't want to push it, you know. So I do. I'd be willing to divorce my family for a fucking. <laughs> well, day. maybe if they divorce their family, we'll, <laughs> you make time uh, for it. Make we'll, the commitment. We'll dedicate more time to it, but you know, three or four weeks is fine. I feel we got to get you in on that action too. That hardcore action. Uh, anal maybe sex. we should run a game for him. I don't think I have a fucking capacity. It's Maybe. always got to be me. No, be here's, the, here's the thing. Here's one of them. <laughs> then I stop and don't say anything for 20 minutes. <laughs> play the, no, Marv, the Marvel role-playing game with him. I played uh, Overpower. I used to play that a little bit. Oh, the that's card like game. four games ago. There's like a brand new one. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, like oh, no, Hero Clicks. There's yeah. stuff like that. No, there's a new one. I think oh, actually yeah? uh, Margaret Ways, Wise has something to do with the new. Really? Like she's but, like a writer on it or something. But yeah. it's just like a whole new thing for me to do. Like if I have, I consider myself to have like two or three jobs at the moment. It's a uh, lot. I mean, it's a lot yeah. to squeeze in there, you know? That's the thing. It's, Especially, we do, you do play for like five hours at a time too. So We don't like, even, I mean, that's another thing. We don't really play very long games. We play like yeah. four hours long, you know? But I think we get a lot done. And, we, and this is the best documented game we've ever done. Yeah, like, like I, the whole I thing with the, the website and stuff. And yeah. keep everything like updated. It's yeah, fun. It's been fun. But, yeah. So, uh, nerdery. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a question for you. Like as far as like, I kind of fell off the map. I think we talked about anime a little bit earlier, but like I've Ooh. completely fallen off the map on that. Cause I thought like, you were going to do a and d joke. I've fallen off the map. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all I got. See you later. But yeah, I haven't really been keeping up on it because like I, anytime I try to watch anime now, it fucking sucks. Like I don't even know where to look. Anime, anime's always been kind of hit or miss. It was usually like fifty fifty. It was like a fifty fifty chance. Like whatever you it's, picked up was okay. It's it's kidified. It's it's yeah. playing to a young an audience that wants to see cute looking young girls just for the fuck of it. It's like fucking Mo- It's called it's moe. Like, the whole mm-hmm. thing is called moe. You might have heard that. Term. Moe, no, I know. It's ba- like the cuteness factor, oh, yeah. the kind of underage. Everything's got like a fucking thing. sweat bead and gets nervous. But, and every now and then they'll throw us like. <laughs> An adult oriented <laughs> series that's pretty decent. This, there's, a, there's, a, there's a show on right now in Japan called Kids on the Slope. And it's by some, I think it. Slope. Be, it's about jazz. <laughs> Racist. It's about fucking, <laughs> yeah. it's about fucking jazz. And oh. it's actually good. Jazz. So that right. kind of thing you just don't get very often in anime. Wow. I honestly do not keep up with it all that much myself. I'll like watch first, you know, 
online you can get it all streamed. Did you now, just so, you know beef? Yeah, I beefed like five minutes ago. Oh wait, it's just I just thought I heard. Well, no, I thought I heard like a, a dolphin cry kind of thing. Have uh, you ever watched the Standalone Complex, yeah. the Ghost in the Shell TV series? Was it any good? It's about eight years old. Or yeah, more. yeah. No, it's excellent. Is it? You, you oh, actually, absolutely should watch that. Didn't they make a second movie too? They made. The, they've they've got like two. Uh, film features and they've got a, a movie based on the TV series and uh, mm. two seasons of the TV series which are really smart really good intelligent just dystopian you know if you like that kind of I shit I think the newest series that I enjoyed was fucking I, I watched Berserk I think Berserk that's, was the last one that's that pretty I old that was okay. yeah. yeah that's fucking ridiculous dude. they just came up with a brand new movie of that too I think oh did they yeah just, just re- recently like a movie or a continuation of the series it's a movie I don't know if it, yeah. I haven't seen it because so. that series ended like on a fucking cliffhanger like it should have kept going and i was pissed that it didn't because i was like oh all right well they're they, i mean they've had their the anime industry has had a lot they still put out a lot of shows and some of them are decent but they've had a lot of trouble because they japan just has no idea how to market it to us they don't yeah. understand what price to sell it at and it's weird because it worked know, for a while i don't know what the fuck happened it didn't like, work though i mean they put out tons of shows nobody bought them and then it ended up with you know crap <laughs> I mean, remember when it used to be like you know, remember like suncoast and anime dvd oh, yeah, would be yeah. like four episodes for 30 bucks or yep. some bullshit mm-hmm. it's you know now they're putting out decent deals sometimes yeah. for the sets but i mean it's just you know well, so you can just stream the shit out of it. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. or you look on on Hulu or anything like yeah. that. Actually, Samurai. Ch- did you see Samurai Champloo? I it, it was okay. Yeah, I, I thought it was good. Like, a Cowboy Bebop, as far as I'm concerned, is like not only one of the best animes ever, but I think oh, yeah, it's one of the best written anything. It's like any, anything that has to do with film. Better than it's Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. I, I think some of those people are involved. I think some of those people involved in Kids yeah. on the Slope. That oh, really? Yeah, but nice. it's about jazz music. I mean, it's about yeah. musicians. It's it's a real life anime kind of. You know what I mean? It's That's not, cool. You know. Have you seen uh, Shin Chan? The American or the original? The American. The I mean, American. It a few times. It's <laughs> <laughs> really good. Times. I was talking with people today about it. And just kind of Evan Dorkin from Milk and Cheese mm-hmm. and other comics. Hmm. Uh, he did some of the punch ups because they kept it pretty. Um, Milk and Cheese, that was like relative. back in the 90s. 90s. He kept yeah. doing it. And he's really? done other uh, books, I forget exactly. But yeah. that's funny. No, it's a funny anime. I think it's on Netflix too right now. Yeah, I think so too. I, I know that there's, there isn't there an original Japanese version of it as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's sure. Running forever. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, but I mean, they just kind of punched it up because well, it's, it's really I, funny I, too. I mean, anime is just you got your cute girl shows, and then you've got your. But it's just a Dennis the Menace on crack. Kind your of shonen, thing. which mm-hmm. is all like Bleach and Naruto, that's popular, but you get tired of it after a while. It's all like Dragon Ball style stuff. Yeah. You know, but Nothing ever happened. Every now and then, yeah. you get, you, they they throw us a bone and give us something for you know. But that sucks because like I'm still watching stuff that's like 20 years old because I can't. Vampire find Hunter it. D. Vampire D is awesome. Maybe the I sequel the they made the movie was good. Enjoyed. The next one, oh, the second movie, second movie was way better. I yeah, think. it is way better. Yeah, the first one's so ridiculous. Isn't the first it. line of the film like, "If you help me, I will sleep with you"? Or something. <laughs> <laughs> like translated something. over really poorly. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is yeah. it? Is it? He's a vamp. I'm not a vampire. I'm a vamp. He's got a fucking like whirlwind it's awesome. in his hand or something. <laughs> like just the face of the vamp. Imagine and jerking off with that thing. It'd be awesome. Ooh. It could blow you. Oh, well, um, literally. Yeah. <laughs> well, what was the? You remember there was a Nickelodeon show? It was an anime. Like Slew my shorts. Oh. Yeah, I love salute an- your shorts. Yeah, <laughs> they did an anime version of it. Yeah, <laughs> Donkey Lips is oh my god, exaggerated. No, no, there was Bobby a show. Butnick. There was a Sunday um, like animation hour. Like I remember because I used to watch it at my grandfather's house in Lowell, and we went there as kids. And he was an animation freak. No, he wasn't. Just like <laughs> Japan, he fought in the war. He hated the Japs. No, he. Oh, was that you? Yeah. Oh, that was grief. a costly fart. Yeah. But no, there, there was this an, a Nickelodeon. It was kind of like a. Um, storybook hour kind of animation and it clearly was japan anime style but you know english um you know kind of voiceover and it just it was creepy but awesome it was like fairy tales um hmm. kind of kind of way kind of a grim fairy tale-esque kind of thing and That's interesting. yeah sure it was like do 80s. you remember the name of it i don't that sucks I'll i could probably i could probably nail it down to more 80s early 90s I think the only kind cartoon I ever watched on Nickelodeon was Danger Mouse, which fucking rocked. Yes, which is that. out. And also, remember um, the French um, cartoon, Something of the Sun, where all these... Hold on. Oh, yeah! You know what I'm talking about? Yeah! On Sundays, like, all old 80s, like, yeah. French. Hold on. John, talk about something interesting. Is there some cartoon, too? I think it might have been British with something about a hamster. What? <laughs> Space hamster or something. I remember Samurai Pizza Cats. Similar to, like, hmm. Danger. <laughs> I remember that. Samurai Pizza Cats Way to take it awesome. down. 
Oh yeah, I have no idea. What was no, it was just like this weird like parody kind of show. It was like these cats that wore like mech armor. And like they like lived in a giant pizzeria, and they fought like this giant evil rat. And it was the most ridiculous yes, show, right. but it was intentionally shitty. Yeah, it was like a it was mock Teenage Mutant. Yeah, Turtles it was actually like pretty. Yeah, it was fun. I used to love that show. But do you um, have PlayStation Three? I do. Download the game Flying Hamster. Do you like shmups? Oh, Grim Fairy Tales, an import show is. from Japan, which ups. made an oh yeah wood side scrolling oh, okay. old school like uh, Defender Galaga. What's it called? Oh yeah, there was Flying Hamster. Trust me, Flying, it's okay. amazing. It's like two bucks. Okay, so it is there. Fucking oh, awesome. Mysterious Cities of Gold. Yo, oh, you know what I'm on the lookout for? What? Fucking, I'm on like a crazy, you remember games like Colony Wars for the original PlayStation? Like, yep. Yep. I want to play. Have, I mean, I might even have them if you, I don't know if I still have them, but Dude, I might have them. I am fucking dying. I don't even think they make them anymore. It's just space shooters. Like you go from mission to mission in a fucking outer I space flying a ship. No, not like a side scroller. I'm talking like, okay. I'm talking like a fucking 3D, like you're in a cockpit, like shooting fucking like. Oh, I miss I like Rogue you. Squadron. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like they don't make stuff like that like anymore. It's not a thing anymore. I guess it sucks, yeah. dude. I miss Big Space Shooter so much. Yeah. What do you got? Space Shooter. Well, I found some of the old cartoons. Oh, nice. Nice. Go ahead, take a look. What's it called? Take a look. Hey, oh, your email. Go oh, for you're it. This technology at work. Yeah. I know. Right? I feel okay. so behind. Mass communicating. Yeah. <laughs> Massacre communicating. So yeah, this is a Mysterious Cities of Gold. Is the it's an import show from Japan and France. I remember that. Yeah, it yeah. Was, it's a crazy. It, the animation was crazy, and just everything about it seemed kind of uh, not necessarily over the top, but just wider than. Which, did it not? which email did you send it to? The Asylum Studios. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't have it on there. If you send it to the Gmail, I get it right away. Okay. The other one goes through another site. I thought I did the. Hold on. Show the me. one that goes through my website takes a little while longer. Asylum. So what's your? The uh, Asylum Twenty Eight at Gmail. I think it was, yeah. Oh, no, did you no, say no, no, no. Yeah. The one that goes through my website has to go through the... John... Car- was it? A John at Asylum... Uh, process. Asylum 28? John Asylum? Asylum Studios 28. Woo! So please, now that you know my email... <laughs> now that you know my email address, send me email pictures of your balls, everybody. Ooh, furiously emailing action on <laughs> podcast. So John... Say it again. Asylum right. Studios 28. Oh, all right. I thought it was John. No, you rascal. It's all right. Bart Finkel. Well, that's who that is. <laughs> I'm like, I, I type in the other name. That sucks because I use that email address for everything. And like, I always hear people like, what does that mean? I'm like, I don't know. I use this. I literally use that email. I made up that email address so I could like get another seven free seven day trial of Sirius XM radio for free. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I made it up and I just stuck with it. Oh, man. Uh. There you go. So, yeah, that and there was also the animated, uh, like the anime one. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales. So it was Grim Fairy Tales. Is this an animated version? Of yeah, it was just an import show from Japan, which I'm reading right now, which would make an anime show. Although some episodes I thought were... Uh, this is the Oh, that's anime. About. That is anime. I'm yeah, anime. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear it on the podcast. Yeah, you know what we'll I watched for the stuff. first time? Dude, I fucking... Do you remember that at all, or no? I vaguely remember it. John, no. No, I've never seen it. You know what I did finally see uh, last week? I saw Fire and Ice, the fucking Frank Frazetta, like oh, 1980 Ralph oh, film. They're uh, so Robert fucking Rodriguez good. is remaking. Like, really? Ro- yeah. Oh, dude, and that made me so is happy. Is he making to see. a live action? I think so. Oh my god! And he's looking to do because he's also <laughs> looking to put up a Frazetta museum in Austin, Texas. Really? Well, I mean, maybe the guy deserves it. You know? Dude, yeah, well, Frazetta is yeah. like, what, dude, Frazetta is hands down my favorite artist fucking ever. Like, I don't know if I would amazing. say that, but it's, but he's, uh, and, he's, uh, he's so distinct. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, he's the whole barbarian, scantily clad, yeah. man of war cover. Yeah. His art was absolutely is, phenomenal. Yeah. He's so good. And like, just as you see color and technique, he passed, away. he passed away. He passed away. He was amazing though, but like, he had like a stroke like later in his like life and he had like, the, the side that he used to paint with this is like his, that whole side of his body didn't work, so he taught himself to paint with the other side of his body, and like he wound up becoming almost as good as he was. You must normally. have been um, kind of upset that Mobius, uh, Mobius passed away. I, you know what, you know what's funny is did like he pass away. He was I, a he hugely did. influential. And like artist. I remember JB yeah. and Phil were like talking about that when it happened, and like I had no idea who he was, but then like I've been collecting heavy like, metal. I've been yeah, I've been collecting heavy metal. I'm yeah. obsessed with heavy metal, and I've been starting to finally like go through and read them like like yeah. more seriously, like and like. I was surprised at how many contributions to that series Mobius has. He's oh, yeah. he used to write for that like every issue. There's like a Mobius yeah. panel, and I was like, well, it's so many movies too. Like he was a designer. I'm pretty sure on a lot of like science fiction movies, just like the general designs and things. Like yeah. he contributed. In, I think that's him. Yeah. I wish I like, I wish I'd known more about him. Yeah. And like, cause that, that definitely sucks. He was really he was yeah. a really talented guy. Oh yeah, all around. It's pretty damn good. It was good to go. 
Yeah. <laughs> you got the look. The look of love. You got the look of... Certain confusion, yet Paul Reiser couplehood. Yes. Yeah. Man, it really will be a staple. I can't. I'm sorry, I haven't been as active this podcast. Oh, that's it's okay. Kind of, you just kind of drift off the wayside. For yeah, five a minutes. little bit. I'm kind of. You know, you guys talk about whatever. Well, you, say, you, you, know, you, you know that you need to intro and outro your show with Paul Reiser at some point. Now. Yeah. It's just no I, way around it. Yeah, I think we kind of. <laughs> you're. We, we're subsidized right, you know by you're Paul Reiser. You're ironically making him an icon once more. You yeah. goddamn are we about, hipsters. I know. Are we about ready to wrap up on the show? Is that what's going on? Yeah, we we got yeah. some time on this. I don't know if you do. You feel the need to do it? I feel like we could. Yeah, up to you. I want to go for That's two good. more I mean, hours. Is there anything else you want to cover? Wow, how anticlimactic. Well, let's do one more thing. I talked to you guys about 80s basketball or 70s basketball, <laughs> yeah. and it's just I have a fascination with it. And you were wondering why or what, and John was wondering why. Well, it's interesting. <laughs> John has no Do you like looking no at men in those uniforms? I, they really oh, do I love high, it. Uh, I love short, it. Short, okay. short, well, actually, no, it is, that is the funniest, weirdest thing, but I just like, I like the attitude. Oh, sorry. Almost got uh, knocked out there. I like the attitude of the people playing, the weird kind of like drug like uh, enthusiasm during it, like just the way everything was shot on film, and how nothing was really broadcast like it is today. Yeah. And um, also, uh, the ABA was something like it was like the American Basketball Association. Yes, exactly. There's yeah. a great oh okay yeah with the red uh, white and blue ball. Yeah. And Dr. J was one of the uh, first stars of that league, but it was a great documentary. Uh, HBO sports documentary, which if you don't like sports, it's still kind of interesting to watch that stuff. Uh, it's called, um, uh, I think, The Last Shot. Hold on one second. But yeah, it was the ABA and uh, Leif Schreiber. Uh, have you ever seen like a, a documentary on HBO? Leif Schreiber is pretty much the guy who's going to narrate it. It doesn't <laughs> really? sound, yeah, it doesn't sound any, you don't even know. You're like, oh, hmm. unless you've seen like. Sabertooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he's been so sports. much too, but yeah. it's just like, and he's, because um, I think it's a New York thing, because I think they're uh, strongly based in New York, and that's where his home base is. Hold on. ABA basketball. I actually saw an interesting thing on basketball. Or a long shot. I think it's called him. a long shot. I think Might it's be. called a documentary. It's like this cool thing about like Larry Bird, how he's like he just took all his money and he like lived on a farm. That's all he did. He was like still a oh, dude. Yeah. He was like fixed track. He was oh, living yeah. on a farm his whole life. I was like that's awesome. Long shots: the life and times of the American Basketball Association. It's actually for free on YouTube. You can watch it in like a couple of parts. Hmm. It's pretty awesome. And just like it's it's a good. It's like a weird like I like the funky like I love seventies kind of funk based. Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah, I mean. Actually, they've been around since the 50s. Right. And they sure. actually were with a weird, like... I saw them black when I was, like, 11. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's weird. They had, like, a movie from, like, the 50s where they had, like, a Celtics-esque type of counterpart going against them as, like, the antagonist in the movie. <laughs> so bizarre. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah, but there's a certain great funk to um, the ABA and just kind of, like, a rebel without a cause thing. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of weird storylines with uh, 80s and 70s basketball. Also, it just kind of, like, I don't know. A bunch of guys just didn't give a damn, throwing elbows and not being a bunch of pussies. But uh, yeah, kind of, I guess. No, it just it's very physical and very um, very weird, very uh, drug oriented too. An interesting thing to find fascinating, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I it's just, an interesting fetish you've developed. Yeah, <laughs> no, eighties, seventies basketball, early nineties. They followed as a kid, as we were kind of talking about. Like, um, if I know anything cards. of basketball, that's the only thing yeah. I know of basketball would oh. be the early 90s. Yeah. I used to be because I was into baseball. I, I, mean, I used to be time. playing street basketball when I was like mm. 18 through 21 or whatever. Oh, right, I right. got really into it for a short period. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting fact is, like, I used to play sports all the time as a kid when I was like 10 or 11. Like, I used to play baseball fucking every day. And, like, one thing I used to play basketball so you blow your knee. every day. Like, I played basketball every day because I had like a basketball hoop, and I was never good at it. I was yeah. never really? good at basketball ever. And I used to play. I used to practice all the time. What do you... I just so I was just always terrible at it. <laughs> I don't Is know. it just no lower body? I played baseball when I was a kid. I used to Weird. love baseball. Like five, but I know you guys years. hate... Uh, not hate, but you just don't have the affinity... I just don't care. I, I just, yeah. I'd rather it, play it. It's, it's not. Yeah, I agree. I I agree. And people like really try to live vicariously through sports oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. more than ridiculous. almost anything else. Yeah. No, it, I, I mean, would say I would make argument. Playing sports is fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. You know. I would I'm make not going to sit there for four hours and watch people, thing. other people be athletic. I mean, well, you're putting a ball in a hoop and you're getting paid millions of dollars for it. Yeah, that's kind of. Maybe I'm just jealous because no one will pay me a million dollars to run a dungeon. No, it is, but it is kind of egregious, though. It is kind of crazy and egregious that no one, like, they get these insane amount to children, to play a children's game and to be children. And they get reinforced this attitude. But 
Yeah, no, the I, inflation on it is just fucking out of oh, control. Oh, it's not. It's like not. The pay rates and the, oh no, the it's, it's all crazy. Kind of and everyone's insane. a greedy bitch about it, yeah. and or uh, bastard, I should say. And then lunatics. The fans keep paying it. Yeah. You know? But I also would equate that slightly, maybe not on, on par, but there is a level of like just like fan movie, like any sort of fandom, like your life or death, no. like it's supported on that sort of thing. So it's the same thing, you know, fa- yeah, fan is short true. for a fanatic. But, yeah. but at the same time, most comic book fans don't go out and fucking tip over cars if their no, team loses but, a fucking series. No, it's true, but let me but qualify that But they spend that a lot with, of money on it, just like sports fans. Yeah, yeah no, but absolutely. let me, let me no. qualify too, could they? <laughs> like, no. no. <laughs> I like, hey, I not to make it right, no, I agree. Yeah. Like soccer fans and like fucking that Brazil see, I like soccer. Go crazy because when I watch a soccer game it really feels to me like especially low World scoring Cup. ties you betcha when somebody, <laughs> when somebody gets a goal though you just feel especially because I no that's true I have this like weird atavistic connection to the Netherlands team who usually oh, plays really? right at the end in the World Cup <laughs> yeah and I was so pissed when they lost last oh, time wow. I was freaking out you, know? <laughs> you make a great point about that though it's just like that's it, a, you're playing for your country and your pride. Yeah, You're but that not, one when goal, you can, too. When, when every year in, in the NBA I can trade to another team, yeah, no yeah. one gives a fuck. Like, no, in true. the 80s and 70s, maybe this is another reason why you like it so much. Well, it's, the dynasties of no, the teams. No, it's true. Like, remember the Sonics were great, the in Magic the 70s, when they had yep. Shaquille O'Neal and everybody. Uh, Philadelphia, you know? 76ers. Um, like, yeah, um, the Celtics. The Celtics, Lakers, yeah. even. Like, other small teams, too. Houston. Pistons. Was good. You have, yeah, you have a lot of great, like, dynasties and teams, but also yeah. it just seemed... There's a sense of basketball that just seemed to click a little bit more, more yeah. team more. Now it's, like, it's just like so mercenary. Everybody is. Yeah. Like every fucking well, just, year. Even somebody like the what's fun his seems gone. They made a huge deal about because he traded. Uh, oh, LeBron or whatnot. Yeah. He's the kind of person that you know a team would normally grow around and you know, but before that time, he's off to another team. So this is just, a, you don't have like any real heroes type thing anymore. Like you don't yeah, have a Michael Jordan. Can. They're too I mean, shifty. We're the heroes. We're an old. I mean, yeah. when you. Grow yeah. out of something. I'm also convinced that you lose the magic is lost in so many ways as well. I think that's with anything too. See, well, it depends I don't how think you. So. Yeah, I don't yeah, think so. I, I still well, think we could also thing. be thinking that way, and there might be some very enthusiastic basketball fans around. Maybe there are a lot of people oh, no, who I, do stick to teams. I love you know? I love basketball. I love watching it. I get yeah. really enthusiastic, and I get somewhat too involved in something. But I do think your, your magic. Maybe you let it go. Or because you think you have to go into other things, but also like the the transition to adulthood, or what you feel is a sense of how to grow as a man or a person. It has to you have to leave things behind. I don't know because I'm still a fanboy. Like I'm still a huge sure. fanboy. But like, I mean, yeah. like you figure out like what do you need to do in a kind of a cosmic sense? Like where do I have to go? You know what I mean? What do I have to do to kind of put that pillar? And we're all kind of. But then you could be just sedating yourself in a kind of delusion of, oh, I'm one of how many billion. And like well, over whole, so many, so many that times. Whole if, you think, sense thing if you is, think that way, you will drive yourself completely yeah. insane. No, I'm sure. But, I've kind of started. I've put that behind that me. Like, think of the universe and a universe and a universe theory. No, of course. Going, yeah, and then no, fucking and watch your head explode. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, Our minds are too primitive for that. Yeah, they really no, are. Or yeah. yes or no. I mean, it's just like it all depends what you want to. I mean, it's prevalent in the sense where we can't focus on one thing and then just kind of extrapolate what we want. Well, it's because we're we're we are like the fucking. I read this really interesting article. Our last guest, uh, Brennan Gibson, um, he wrote a really interesting article today on just like how we are, we kind of are the transitional species. We're, we're, we're at the transitional evolutionary point right now where like we are the next step. Right. Like we we're are all, kind of. We're always kind of transitioning. Right. But like he, he pointed out too, is it like it's always, it always, everything's always evolving constantly, but we mm-hmm. kind of are the next step because of technology where it's like you kind of have the ability you have the ability and access to information now that everything is just you have the ability to know everything and now it's the time where people are changing the way things are done and making things happen because you know what's going on in the world and it's like the greedy the few greedy fucks that run everything aren't getting away with stuff anymore because Skynet. it's starting to stop That's because how it starts everybody. yes and no Skynet. i mean i think there's like still we are, ways to get about it and still yeah. ways to monetize and still ways to no absolutely but like it, but. it's it's like we are the paradigm shift like we are that Point in evolution where Wait, it's like I'm, I'm sorry. Like okay. Words like par- words like proactive. It happens. It happens. It, show. it, it does. <laughs> That's <laughs> one of the things I like about words, it. Words like paradigm and proactive aren't these just buzzwords that super people use that sound smart? I'm fired. Yes. Thank you for saying that. So, uh, if, if there was a rebuttal to that, I don't remember it. But no, like, I'm fired, aren't I? Yes. Um, thank no, you. but it's true. No, I listen. I understand, <laughs> and I'll go to Grant Morrison again, who puts it like, "Why do we distinguish ourselves from nature?" When we aren't, we're not nature. Yeah. We're not at the fingertips of nature. Yep. Like we always have the distinction. That's why I always hate it. in English class. It's like, oh, the three classic: man versus man, man versus nature, nature versus you know 
Nature. Tom Hanks. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> but uh, nature, yeah, or whatever. But it's like why it's like, yeah, we're a part of nature and we're yeah. also at the whims of everything of nature, but But we've we've disassociated we've decided to remove ourselves from nature. No, no, we time. but no no no. There's no such thing. Yeah, no, there's there no isn't such thing. But we're trying and, to, like that's what no, we are. But it's not no, but that's <laughs> don't forget that nature also produced Paul Riser. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank Rendering you. Rendering all natural completely. Thank you, yeah, nature. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Nature's beautiful kiss <laughs> on the lips. No, but no, there's no such there's no like you totally are discrediting the, each statement by you know we're not if we're a way of life sure like we're just getting away from where we feel that we're we're connected to a certain thing like well we're, that's what we're I mean dependent, yeah. we're dependent on this thing for that which no that's not the case we can construct things on our own that are dependent of certain structures we grew up on yeah. there's a difference and just like that's the extension of nature it's like you know what. You know, these gases in the Big Bang, like, seconds before or nanoseconds, like, you're not connected to the other gases anymore. It's like, that's kind of bullshit. But isn't, <laughs> at the same time, isn't it technically still all nature? No, absolutely. Yeah, that's what yeah. we're, I mean, that's what we're saying. Else tries yeah. to separate yeah. them, but is there really yeah. any such thing as synthetic? Yeah. No, I mean, no. it's all Everything's from, a derivative of yeah. something that is naturally... Yeah, yeah. So we just don't like to think of it that way in yeah. a classical sense, that a computer and nature are like... Well, I mean, totally what a computer is... A virtual space versus a physical yeah. space. Yeah, well, the virtual yeah. space is also... The abstractness of it, yeah, that's a whole yeah. other thing. Yeah. But it's also our ideas, like... I mean, technically, our brains, like, connecting and talking. Like, we didn't have real, like, con our consciousness or thought process. We, you know, people didn't think about talking to themselves for centuries. And just kind of, it's a weird... It's ra rather new phenomenon. As well, not really. I mean, look at people like Plato and like. Yeah, they, they but were, they, they, were... they really, but their mind, like, it just kind of like when the, what was it, when the corpus callosum started to form, it's just like they felt like they were talking to God, but they're talking to themselves. Right. So it's a whole different type of philosophy and a whole different type of uh, modus operandi as far as like how we operate our thought process and our thought, our operating system, if it were to go down that road. Yeah. Where, like, uh, we can talk to each other. We know we can talk to someone, uh, year, uh, like uh, like uh, miles or just worlds away. No. And we're already we have time machines. We are in the business of time travel. Get in a plane and go from the east coast to the west coast. Yeah. You are time traveling yeah. because you're uh, you are transcending time and space. And speaking of space, one thing I don't think people really are paying much attention to is you realize oh, that Venus? space travel has now been privatized. Yeah, yeah it's been uh, privatized that's a for a while. humongous step yeah. for humanity. Yeah, I mean, that's, no, it's, it's going to create true. competition. It's going to vastly, it's very rapidly. R and NASA, planet Starbucks. NASA, R and D. <laughs> yeah, yeah. SpaceX. They just successfully landed the shuttle already. Oh yeah, it's already been done. You know, yeah. they, they sent up it up to the space station, yep. brought back waste and other things they wanted to bring back, and you know, they and even they, bragged about the size of their shuttle, how it was better than ooh, a NASA Ooh, penis jokes. <laughs> penis yeah, envy. It, penis it really shuttle is. envy. Well, the, the penis will, you know, we will send the penis out to <laughs> the stars. just a giant dick. And seed them. <laughs> just, yeah. Rubber dick in a yeah. shuttle. <laughs> I keep thinking of Tom Cruise in uh, Magnolia there. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but no, I get, yeah, I'm with, I'm sorry, you finished what Brennan was talking about. Oh, no, it was just, it was a really short, you know, quick article, it just, um, it, it was just kind of interesting, because it's, I don't know, it was, it was, it wasn't, it, it didn't really, you're on the spot. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, I get a little flustered, but he, he didn't propose anything wacky or zany, it was just kind of a astute observation of where human beings are right now, and I thought it was, I don't know, I just thought it was clever and accurate, and it's just you know it's things I you think about all the time, but to hear somebody else actually say it and write something you know that's well written, you just kind of you're like yeah, that's it's you know he's saying what I'm thinking, but it's someone put it down on paper and it makes sense, and I like that. But you know, it was just kind of cool. Is it's like we kind of are on the cusp of whatever is going to happen next. It's you know it's just. We're before the event that's going to happen next. <laughs> Facebook that's, becomes yeah. Skynet. Yeah, well, no. when you, you think, about, like, you yeah. you think about your computer and how fucking crazy that is, it's like the the the, the well the the web is like it's almost like yeah. another reality or another universe. Like you think about the concept of a universe, think about the web. It's the same fucking thing. It's a universe in a box. That's fucking crazy. It's many universes <laughs> yeah. in a box. And it's like. What prevents us from interacting or interfacing with that where that becomes a reality that you can stream? And yeah, once it like, becomes it, it real enough immerse yourself that your blow-up love doll and, you know, yeah. is a blow-up. It's fucking know, insane. Virtual, you know, uh -huh. What if we're there now? Man. <laughs> man. <laughs> man. Yeah. Well, it's all about identities and, like, where we shed ours and how many we get and how many identities we upload at a time and who we think we are. And what we choose to do. No. I mean, there's. I mean, some choice we have, some we don't. 
I mean, there's going to be that shift soon, so watch it. But, like, the problem is, like, well, the interesting part of it is, is, like, the dependency on the technologies is, like, the power goes out. It's, like, you're back in the fucking Stone Ages again. In a it's way, like, yeah. And then who's prepared for that? Like, look at – our our generation is barely useful. Like, we, we're we kind of, like, in between. Like let's we, specify. Let's specify um, North American <laughs> – yeah, like our, yeah. Our, our our particular generation. geographical location. Yeah. We're tweaking culture. engines. We yeah. we our generation is just tweaking engines to be faster from people. Who yeah, and that's yeah. that's what's interesting is it's like. But we don't have to waiting be. for the singularity to arrive. Whatever yeah. it's right. going to be. Yeah, we don't have to be. We can be engineers. We absolutely you know I mean? could be. Yeah, and it's just and some ways some are, some aren't, and it's just like it doesn't any, take everyone to be one. Some no, people exactly. Have and to do the, the numbers actually the oxen work. As yeah, exactly. As it were. Right. And yeah. the numbers don't support that everyone will. Right. You can't. You have how many billions of people, and then you that'll uh, that'll kind of build in the next ten year or ten to fifteen years. It's going to be maybe even double that, or even like. I mean, we're yes. not going to have enough. Well, now they have a motivation, especially with things like space being private. Yeah, like 2050, I think they were talking about maybe a little. I think I said double. it was 2023, be something on Mars or colonies on or Mars. Or no, or just I'm talking about the population here being doubled oh, and okay. just like lack of food and water. I mean, yeah. we could feed everyone if we wanted to. I mean, that's the thing. We can do a lot of stuff if we wanted to, if we oh, put yeah. the energy towards it. But it's just a matter of, I mean, what People are we living? caught up in their own. Yeah, what are we willing to do? Spheres. And give up. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's weird. It's like you're so like concerned about your own little private realm of reality that like you're completely oblivious to because really I mean, we have so much to keep us fascinated so many yeah. hobbies and, so and it's such an interesting like in bill yes. plimpton yeah. or was it plimpton i forget the guy who did who's the gentleman who is um i'll always feel like nation. i'm a piece of shit who never contributes enough no matter what i do even yeah. you know no yeah. so but like again like, we, like you were talking what, yeah. i'm sorry what was that oh bill moyer talks about a uh, journalist who talks about us being constantly amused so it's kind of to a fault, of course. But like, yeah. it's like what you were saying is like, uh, you know, when you think about like the concept of reality in the universe, like like the whole, you know, the whole universe mirror universe like theory, like where right. it's just kind of an infinite series of realities. It's like when you think about shit like that, it's like the concept of my sitting around thinking about that all day and what I'm going to contribute is fucking useless. It's like but I, already, I know for a if fact, it's like a kind of nihilistic, yeah, yeah, like yeah. universal. Yeah. It's absolutely. But you've already useless. done it. You've already contributed. You're already there. You're that like cog in the machine. You can't change it. Or can right. you? So just enjoy oh. Next time you will be able right. to Enjoy your time it. here. You don't know yeah. what else you know. Right, exactly. And it's like like once it's like that's the thing that like a lot of people I think don't think about is the the realization like no one wants to acknowledge the fact that like it's your that time you is limited. Jesus. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Like your time is limited. Like, like you don't know what no. you know what you know what you, you know what you too have. busy with their institutions and their yeah. you know. Yeah. Well the one thing humanity has in common with every other human being is their yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, we talked about asshole. that last episode. Yeah, an yeah. asshole. <laughs> right, big hate to be the one that didn't have one. Asshole. Yeah, <laughs> so it'll be a very short and painful existence. Oh my god, <laughs> where'd I filter it out? Not my belly, belly button. button. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just crank it. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a necessary. I don't think it's a scary Colossal thing. Me boy, mm-hmm. there's a superhero for you. Yeah. That's yeah. A new sidekick for Slumlord after <laughs> yeah. Suicide Pete, Pete kicks it. There's actually yeah. an old image comic called Deadly Duo that was like a funny series, and like one of the main characters had a shit cannon. That was oh, his yeah? weapon. He had a wrist shit cannon. It was an awesome <laughs> series. <laughs> and like one of the like the first issues, like one of the his sidekick was a dude from the future who gets sent to the past. And like his food was like always in pill form, and like there was no yeah. way they had no waste because their food was so pure. Yeah. So the first thing he does is he takes him to a burger joint. And he has diarrhea immediately. <laughs> Let, oh, let's not forget awesome Spider series. Jerusalem's favorite weapon to use on people. Like, I, yeah. I love that. I, I own that entire yeah. thing. How many of those? Are? I read the really first good. one. That's the only one I read. I have probably like I, I don't Trans- know the of yeah. Yeah. quite a lot. I have everything. The yeah, they have lot. a Warren Ellis has been he's very hit or miss, but when he hits, no. he hits well. No. Like Mech is one of my favorite. Yeah, comics. that like stool loosening gun. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> You've talked about that. A Mech, few yeah. Times have to check I want to. I actually want to option it for a movie, but. Oh my God! It hasn't it? Wasn't, Mech, wasn't not Transmetropolitan. Also, wasn't there like a rumor going around of Patrick Stewart doing Spider Jerusalem like eh, many years know. ago? I but like voice him know. or something. Hmm. Maybe for an animated thing. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. That's too expensive. Mech would be something we can probably get. Yeah. That would be That's a great one to do. Although I don't know if people would get it, but I hope they well, would. Well, I mean, I'm sure they will. I mean, it's just like, I mean, you would do... What are you doing? We keep going. Excuse or? me? Because I have an idea to... Oh, okay, go ahead. And run things out. Okay, you can do it. Just, why don't you... Do, <laughs> a, do without saying, as we say in right, the biz. Show me, don't tell me. So what I want to do... <laughs> want me to read it? But I want you to do a campaign stuff. Oh, shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I hear you. All right. I think I can do that. <laughs> it was my fault. Anywhere? 
Yeah, but I want you to do it like set it up campaign style. You know what I mean? Like you're actually. <laughs> Prior to this child, the only comparable experience we had was naming our dog, which was undeniably less complicated. There's no family lineage to protect, no concern for how it sounds followed by your last name. The only real question is, how does it sound yelled across the park? Some pets, sadly, wind up never getting named at all. Who doesn't know a cat named Kitty or a dog named Dog? (laughs) D-A-W-G. And if you can't come up with a great name deserving of their species, it's certainly acceptable to give your pet a people's name, but rarely the reverse. Are you coming to Scruffy's piano recital? Oh, you really should, you know. Snowball's going to play the trombone. <laughs> what? <laughs> you almost never hear that. But when choosing a name for your child, there's a lot more at stake. The namer can influence profoundly the life of the name E. Of course, it's hard to determine what's nature and what's nurture. Does somebody turn out as they do because of their name? Or do they get the name that's appropriate for the life they were on their way to living anyway? Hard to say. All I know is that if you name your daughter's Trixie or Tina, she's more likely to sleep in a van with a band from Seattle than the exact same girl named Ruth. Similarly, a boy named Herbert may grow up to play baseball professionally, but not as easily as Dale, Pee Wee, or Scooter. This, of course, is not scientifically documented or anything, but I think I know what I'm talking about. (sighs) All right, well, on that note, roll the die. Roll the die, make a saving throw against fail. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, thank you, Scott, for coming on. Anytime, guys. It was fun. It was. It was a good time. Anything you'd like to say? Uh, yeah, just our usual jazz. I'd like oh, to yeah, yeah. Throw plug, some, plug some yeah, stuff. Yeah, plug some more. We, we mentioned Brian today, so let's check out uh, Horror, Horror Movie, Movie a Day. Day and BloodyDisgusting.com. Yeah. Horror um, Movie a Day is when he reviews. He's also... That, uh, he reviews a Horror Movie a Day. Yep, yeah, he's also writing for Badass Digest now. Oh, yeah, He's yeah. doing stuff on there, and uh, they're, they're pretty good. Um, Asylum Studios. Uh, no, I we're make late. stuff. Oh, all right. Yep. All right. I make stuff. Right uh, hire me. Yeah, hire right me. Right three, yep. Um... Scott, what do you got? I, well, I'm working on my website, writing reviews at fromthedustreturn.com, and I have a new band. Hopefully, we'll have a band camp page up soon. We've been a little quiet about it due to recent events and things that have been going on. You um, also will be contributing music to this podcast that will be running sure. when it comes up. Yep, yep, yep anytime. So uh, there you go. That's yeah. what I'm busy with right now. You want to so. plug uh, utterswell.blogspot.com? No. <laughs> No, we don't need to do that. <laughs> what? Too what late. Oh. Utterswell.blogspot.com. Utter like U U D D E R. If you want to see what all the bullshit is about. Whoa! <laughs> the math and the magic that transpires. Yes. The math you want to be magic? jealous of our mighty campaigning. <laughs> oh my. Um, well, yeah. Uh, comically speaking, again at North Reading, or no, Reading, Massachusetts. I'm sorry, Route 28, one of the greatest comic book shops ever. Um, LonelyReviewer.com by a buddy of mine, Vache Arabian. Uh, same night movie review. Uh, you can check them out at same night movie review dot com. And yeah, I'm trying to think of other stuff. Awesome town reviews with Jason Dabinsky. He's doing some other stuff as well. And Colleen B at at Colleen B Twitter. B ready. You know what? She hasn't really been contributing much to the show lately, so I'm oh, gonna say so? I don't remember. Oh, I don't know. No, she's been. Yeah. I guess. Hey, I Colleen, know. maybe this is your you know chance to get involved again. Oh my God, what yeah. are you saying? I don't know. Uh, but all right, yeah. Uh, you can check out all the other, all the other like uh, links. Oh yeah, sock talk, online. Talk blood, talk, talk, yep. We have a link to all of our favorite friends on there as well. Yeah, anyway. and Colleen our being Facebook one of them. page, yeah. And also like other stuff we plug. Look on for more videos coming out and another ad for sock talk hmm? coming up. So yeah, thanks again. And uh, oh, before we blast, I guess. Um, so let's do Gone with the Wind and Ookie Cookie. Um. Oh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs>